Ah, hello chat. How's it going chat? Late streamer? Yeah, the stream is, um, this used to be the normal stream time. Then I tried to change it and then, uh, you know, I got, um, sleepy. To be fair, you really don't want to be, uh, sleepy while playing Rain World. You kind of need 110% of your mental faculties. You need like a constant um, spike of adrenaline through your, your veins. Hey Toby, you were worried? You needn't be worried, Toby. I never really miss a stream day, except when I do sometimes. Hey Molly, how's it going? Now into your, um, your glorious and long-awaited two weeks of not working on the video, but still working on other things, probably with all your free time and not actually taking a break. Hell yeah, Molly, sounds cool. Uh, yeah, we're still doing Rain World today. I promised last time I would do at least one more stream of this game, um, and that was just a contingency in case I ended up absolutely hating it by the end of today's stream and not wanting to continue. But yeah, we got another stream, and I might like it enough to continue more, so who knows. Can I play Stalker next? Probably not. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'd played Noita on stream. I don't know. Like, I, I could play roguelikes on stream whenever, it's just like... It's, I don't want to, if you make a roguelike series, it's an infinitely long series until you stop it. So it's like, what exactly do you do? What's the format of that, you know? Um, you should play Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, Toby? I, I've heard that game's very good, and I've often listened to the soundtrack. The soundtrack to that game is, um, exceptionally good. Uh, David Wise has some of, like, the most unique, um, video game music I think I've ever heard. All for the Donkey Kong Country series. Okay, Molly has taken a few days to actually not work on anything. <laughs> Congratulations, Jindoy. Right. Yeah, the, uh... I guess, uh, my excuse for why the stream is late today is that I actually got... I, I went out to, a Someone's graduation party last night that went very late. Um, not that I don't normally stay up late, it's just like... Um, I, I've been getting kind of tired for a while. I've been running low on sleep. I had to properly catch up, so here we go. Anyway, so I was considering doing the traditional thing and um, and before actually starting Rain World, forcing you all to watch some uh, some RAM footage, which would be pretty funny, uh, I think. Hang on, let me um, mute the volume real quick. There's, we have some new environmental art to show off, so that could be cool. Uh, before that, though, there's something very important, which is this. This is a piece of uh, of fan art, I guess fan art. It's it's um it's by J D, and this is to commemorate the um, I believe the world's first successful, true swapless cash run of RAM, um, which is incredibly remarkable. I would play J D's video just on stream right now, except that it's um full of copyrighted music, <laughs> and maybe it may create problems. But yeah, basically what it means is that JD is one of the RAM playtesters, and he he went through the whole demo run uh, without dying or swapping. Very remarkable achievement. Uh, and this was a piece of art that he made to commemorate that, of course. That's the, uh, the steel toad that he uses for the entire run. <laughs> True gamer god, yeah. So uh, maybe instead I'll... I'll showcase my own inferior gameplay for just a hot minute here. Mostly to show off, you know, that we got the some some new tile art and stuff. And then we'll get into Rain World as usual. If anyone's just showing up for Rain World, pe people in chat continuously assuage any new people that were actually are going to play Rain World in just a, a hot second here. Audio is a bit loud in it. Okay. 
You probably don't actually have the audio though, do you? Is that the right window? Um, okay, apparently it... Oh, there it is, there it is, got it. Let's do it, let's do it. It's ramen time. Yo, 10 pounds from JD, it did stimulate the economy. It sure fucking did, dude. Cash run will go down in history. Uh, th thank you very much for the donation. Um, I should be the one paying you at this point for supplying cool RAM content. All right, uh, we want impulse chamber. I forget if we showed off the, um, I think the new upgrades were live last time I showed this off on stream. So that's probably nothing new. I have recently buffed these guys, or quote unquote buffed them to be more aggressive. But it actually makes them a lot easier to counter, so in a way it's actually a bit of a nerf. You can see right now also there's um, a prototype uh, freshness system that's going on. That wasn't there last time. Uh, the playtesters currently don't have access to that either. So my score is modulating based on me. Uh, I swapped into the same host twice, so I get fewer points for that. That's one of the ways you want to encourage people to uh, swap more often, beyond just, um... In the original concept of the game, you would just die if you stayed in the host for more than 20 seconds, which was a bit extreme. So we want to do that with the, uh... A carrot rather than a stick, to put it in those terms. Get roasted. Yep, new environmental art. This is the hot, fresh tile sets from Gecko, who's our lead artist right now. Um... I gotta do AFT, right? Yeah. Uh, One dollar from Nofumar, too. Thank you. And if you listen very carefully, we actually have some new um, dynamic music from Nahu that's specific to each type of bot. So when you swap into a flame bot, the soundtrack changes very slightly compared to um, if you're in a, a chain bot or a, you know... I'm not using their canon names because <laughs> I'm acclimated to the, uh, the debug ones, but... So just don't pay any attention to the names I'm talking about the bots with. Rain World looks a lot cooler. I wouldn't claim this game looks cooler than Rain World currently. Rain World's got some pretty fucking banger art going on. Let's do a bit of uh, deadlift in action here. So now that they, the steel posts fire more often, you can be a lot more aggressive with your uh, deflections. Not really panning up for that guy currently. Tug of war. All right. I'm kind of specking into the steel coat here. This is the classic opener for this room. Oh, it didn't even work. I didn't have enough cuts by the blow the barrel up. Good, this ain't going well. You can see this is an elite enemy with a custom skin that starts with um, a self-preservation override, so I can just body check the fuck out of these lads. With impudence. Um... Probably some cooling. That was really bad. Nothing more embarrassing than fucking up with the janky physics barrels. Oh my god. I ate shit. No way to put it. We got the Warbly shitpost sent then for the, uh, the rotor BGM. Very good, everyone likes it. Ooh, the double deflection. That was kind of sicker. There we go. Yeah, they, uh, not all of the new environmental art has been implemented yet, and it's still a work in progress, but some levels have it. And we're still figuring out how best to use it, of course. But in, in here you can see it's, uh... We'll, we're f we'll freely admit there's been a bit of inspiration taken from Hyperlight Drifter's uh, approach. 
The, the tile sets we're using now are much more modular. They're designed to be like details are layered on top of uh, different layers of sort of base tiles. And uh, also, there that means that they can be put on different lighting layers, and so you can you can use environmental lighting to sort of bring out certain details on the floor um, continuously, like a gradient. You can sort of see it here, right? It's, it's yellow in that corner. So that's what we're experimenting with right now. Um, we don't know how so Toby to show off. I really want to show off the Hasso Toby upgrade. Missed the trick shot by a hair there. Nice. Yeah, the rotors struggle a bit in cramped spaces like this. Especially the, the rotor versus rotor matchups always kind of comical. Can you swap any timers or a cooldown? Okay, so the way it works is that um, the stream can't see my cursor, I think. Okay, the bar on the bottom left is your swap meter. Um, and basically, you, you use half of the top thing whenever you swap. If you swap out of a dead host, you use three quarters of it instead. Um, and it regenerates as you kill enemies. And if you if you need to swap while it's less than half full, you'll eat into the bottom red bar, which is your sort of global health. And if that runs out, you lose the run finally. So you have to... Uh, the rate, rate at which you swap is related to um, how, how effectively you're killing the enemies and also how often you're... Um, how little you're dying. Andrew, who is my least favorite Austrian? I'm supposed to say Hitler, right? Or, uh, I don't know if there's any other options. Oh, that was fucking... I, I juggled that guy into his own grenade. Get wrecked. Who's your least favorite Robo? Well, the most troubled one to design has been the Flame Bot, for sure. Because um, it's... It's sort of a min-maxy one, it's, it's less mobile, it has very high DPS but only under certain conditions, um, and you need to use like a special ability to actually move anywhere quickly. But um, it's coming along now, this is the best the Flamebot's ever been currently, I recently did a big mobility buff on it. How did he fail to kill my last host there? He had one job, which was to get me the close call bonus, and he fucked it up. Okay, this is bad. But they're much easier to overheat now than they used to be which is a big boon. Used to be very tedious to kill them with fire. But look how fast you can zoop around now. Is Flamebot actually Ness? Not, not currently. Maybe in a future patch. Uh, oh, oh, there it is. Oh, no, that's Yorikiri again. I want House of Hobie. Okay, Frayed Wires is always such a solid pick, though. Gotta go Frayed Wires. Um... I think this icon is still bugged. This will give me a Flamebot upgrade. It didn't. Okay, maybe the price got patched as well. Um, that's fine. It's worth it for Frayed Wires. AFT has still not been nerfed. I think I've actually gotten worse at doing the uh, projectile boost with this guy. I've gotten rusty. I named the stream wrong. It's gonna be a rain world in just a second, in just a wee second. Three de 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 deadlift upgrades and no Hasso Toby. Damn it. Yeah, I think this will be a stream tradition. Like, I'm not really doing any regular um, development updates otherwise on the channel. Okay, that was fucking sick. Sometimes you just gotta crawl into the big fucking router mass and just do a, a parry and hope for the best. Um, but yeah, I'm not really doing any other regular dev updates on the channel, so if I can use the start of the streams for that, then I think that works well. This one fucking guy has a swap inhibitor. I don't think a single other enemy in the game so far has a swap inhibitor, naturally. Kinda weird. Actually, this guy can kill me if he wants. 
There we go. Thank you. Shoot me, do it now. Nice. If you time the parry just right, you can pretty consistently one-shot the uh, Steel Toes. Oh yeah, the Steel Toe in Ambush has a really strong shield, yeah. That guy's more of a mini-boss, though. I just like that one random rotor, like, what's he doing? Is there gonna be a Wheelbot plush? Absolutely. Oh, is there snow here? Okay, yeah, Toby didn't tell me he added snow. That's fucking cool, though. Okay, I don't want to be in here. Okay, speaking of which, this is the, the, the mini-boss Steel Toe. Apparently, I don't even know if it has any upgrades. It's, it's just sort of really tanky. And you can use it as like an infinite sort of um, juggle fodder with the chain bot. Because I have the upgrade now that stuns any enemies that I grapple. So this the mini-boss is permanently neutralized. And I can just use it as a punching bag. It's really funny. I can't believe I've got playtesters telling me that the uh, the steel pose overpowered, but not the uh, the deadlift here. This guy's a beast. Look at this shit. And it's really fun when you get the consecutive hits going with the uh, the rotors here, but usually it doesn't happen. It's too hard to aim. Ow. Somehow that killed both of them. All right, I'll take it. What's the actual name of the bots? Well, okay, these guys are steel toes. These guys are deadlifts. The green ones are aphids, and the blue ones are the rotors. They're no, it's Yori Kiri again. You're gonna give me three Yori Kiris and not a Hasotobi. This is fucking. This is a travesty. Watch this. For a gamer move, you just kill yourself. See, that, that didn't work as well as it does sometimes. It's a legitimate strategy though, just walking up to an explosive barrel, punching it, and then swapping out. You get like a trick shot bonus usually. Hell yeah. The fucking barrel didn't go off again, dude. How am I supposed to function under these conditions? Oh my god, that's it. that flame bot got like hotter than I've ever seen before. That was like super overheated. Um, let's see. Sort of specking into uh, the deadlift right now. I'll continue with that, I suppose. The best opener. Let's do it. I don't know what the silver guy does, actually. Ow. Okay, now I'll never know. <laughs> The colored ones have some upgrade pre-installed, but it's not always obvious what it is. Okay, sometimes that sends the barrels flying at the enemy, and sometimes you just die. Okay, that time it worked. That was cool. Come on. These barrels get tankier in a patch or something? Like, what happened? Uh, yeah. Okay, I don't want to talk about that. We gotta nerf the barrels? We have to make the bar we have to nerf the barrels physics breaking properties. The four Yori Kiris. The game is actually trolling me right now. Yorikiri would be funny for the boss, but I really just want to show off the Hasotobi and the Mucha the Exclusive, so as soon as I commit to the Yorikiri, I can no longer Hasotobi. I'm fucking dead. Ow. Where's my hyper shot, dude? What is the timing? There it is. You can still do it. I've just forgotten the timing completely. Barrel, just for fun. And the boss is coming up next by the look of it.
Come on, see if these idiots come up here into the barbecue pit. Going down to the house of sausage, it's gonna smoke me a fatty brisket, you know? And there's the joys of induction barrel being unable to kill the flame bots. Ow. Oh. Okay, one health Andy, but I made it. Uh, yeah. What's the red bar under the swap meter? That is your global swap juice. So that's like, it doesn't regenerate, but you can eat into that if you need to swap in an emergency. So it's sort of like your global health bar for the whole run. Um, well, currently for the whole run. I think it's going to regenerate at the end of each zone in the final game. But currently, it's we only have one zone, so it's like, it's all you get. The very scary eye laser attack. Not actually very scary. We have to make the eye laser scarier for sure. Ow. Ooh. It's a... Uh, not many effective strategies for fighting the boss with the deadlift, but you can kind of do it if you're determined. Okay. Ooh, I can be the boss, actually. Why not? This is always fun. You can farm up some juice. Okay, it's doing its thing. You get the counter. Nice. What did Northern Line say about Sekiro? It's it's punch out for grown-ups? That's also Ram. It's punch out for adults. <laughs> it's the mature sequel that will treat you like an adult. So to speak. The river looks kinda well for the boss, but like you can really get tossed around by the explosions. break these pillars before it's too late here. It's getting kind of silly. There you go. Right. Flame bot versus boss. It doesn't usually work that well, but it's at least somewhat viable. There's a lot of damage at close range. And then you explode. Yeah, that's sort of the, the rub. Ooh, but I got him in the um, aerated fuel tanks explosion. That was like unintentionally a pro strat there. Pretty cool. Fucking sick, dude. That's a pretty cool boss kill, I gotta admit, with the deadlift. Classic stuff. Alright, there's your RAM run for today. Now onto the rain world. I hope you all enjoyed. Show Hasotobu. No, that'll happen naturally one day if people watch enough streams. <laughs> They'll maybe see Hasotobi. More damage feedback. Oh, the boss needs a, a lot, a little more of a lot of things. It's it's very um, work in progress still. We sort of moved on to working on other stuff that's higher priority for now, though. Such as uh, the big tutorial I spent several days making. All right, back to the rain world vibe. I'm gonna pour some tea for myself before we get into the rain world. I should make highlights for my stream games. Well, that's the thing. You say that, that means I have to make them. Like, uh, having highlights means that someone has to make the highlights, which takes time, and I spend all my time doing other things that have to be done, so I'm probably not going to do that. There's probably, it's, there's just not that much potential for, for gain, I think, is the problem, like, to, to justify spending resources on stream highlights. I had cherries in Florida right now, the real rain world. Um, yeah, I was, um, I I've yet to finish your, your new Azzy Pants short, Cherry. Uh, I had to, like, take a break after fucking Des appeared at the beach. 
and I realized that you were it was actually Dest who this character was was supposed to be, and I just like my brain turned off. And I, um, I'll get back to it though. I'll finish it one day. Okay. Um, oh, actually, no, I'm not capturing the Rain World currently. I need rainworld.exe. Here it is. We're good. Shoreline. Is that where I am? It's so this is a leech pit. I really want to leave Shoreline before I go fucking insane, please. That's sort of my goal now. <laughs> um, I very much don't like Shoreline. Wait, there's a, t a tutorial by a librarian of Le Tourneau who makes NL highlights. He has a whole process. Like a tutorial for making stream highlights? Interesting. I, I don't think there's that much of a specific process to it, but like, you just, you just make the highlights? I don't know. I've never tried myself, to be honest. I like the free food room here, that's cool. Nice. Maybe if I go up, um, that will let me escape from the horrible moisture zone. There's an oxygen meter. I turned it on in the settings. Because uh, I took umbrage with there not naturally being an oxygen meter. Uh, yeah, Oatsen, I saw that you were playing this. I'm curious... Um, your progress is going to outpace mine, or it probably will. I'm only playing it once a week. Uh, oh, here's the pipe. It's going to take me a sec to uh, remember what I'm doing here, honestly. How do I get that one? Food is too high. Oh great, more leech water. Yep, there's always more leech water in this game. Oh good, the mermen are here. Time to leave. Bruh. Okay, how do I... This is the hardest tech in the game so far, is dismounting the vertical pole onto the horizontal pole. Scientists are baffled at how it's done. Um, Almost had it. I really need to get onto this pole to escape the mermen, please. Really need to. There it is. Oh my god. There it is. Got it. Was it just me or is there music there for a second? Like distant music. Um, is this maybe not how you escape? I don't see anywhere to go from here. Yeah, maybe this is actually a total dead end. Oh well. Swim for it? Not with the merman, dude. That's just suicide. You can go left, right, or into the pipe. I mean, left or right or just into the fucking... the abyssal waters of death. Can the merman even do damage? Oh, I, I sort of assumed that they would. If they don't, then I guess I can swim for it. Okay. Merman of the new spikes. Yeah, I think the spikes were actually just grass, maybe, in the end. But they really, really do look like spikes, to be fair. they It super looks like spikes. And I could picture it working exactly like Splunky, where the spikes are safe as long as you're moving slowly. But if you, if you fall into them, you die immediately. That's what I assumed the spikes were like, so... Um, there was a lot of plausible deniability. Like, oh, the spikes aren't killing me. Oh, it's just because you weren't moving quickly enough to be killed by the spikes. Um... Kind of hard to uh, swim, like 
and stay underwater. Well, nothing's killed me yet, but sort of my vibe with this zone is that anything could just whenever it wants to. Oh. Well, what now? Do I wait for high tide? Oh, this is cool. This is fine. That's just like suicide zone down there. Oh, oh, okay, it just let me up that time, cool. I really thought that that was impossible. Is this new? I don't remember being here before. Come on, rate yourself. Oh, that's a really cute slug cat sprite. I like that one. Um, didn't I just arrive at the shoreline? Well, I arrived last stream, um, and I immediately decided that for, for my mental well-being, I had to leave as quickly as possible. Um, if, for example, the jellyfish that's already stinging me right now. Um, ouch. You can eat that? Ah, oh, fuck me. Eat the fruit, dude. Oh, I'm full. I can't eat the fruit. Never mind. Uh, you gotta swim through the jellyfish pool. It's the only way. I think this is a new area, though I haven't left the shoreline, I've just, like, penetrated further into it. Whoop. You can just jump over the jellyfish, they're alright. Yeah, but you need the piss guy for the jellyfish thing. That's probably not every kind of jellyfish, it's probably just, like, one. Do I still have a microphone blocking the lower left part of the screen? Yes, I do. It did, did some, uh, title flash up and I didn't see it. Okay. This is how you dodge them in Australia, right? If you see a box jellyfish, you just do a, a short jump out of the water and go over it. I'm pretty sure that would work. Oh, a shelter! Perfect. That's just what I wanted to see. Where's the Miku? I hoped you wouldn't notice that the Miku is gone, though. Of course you would, though. Oh, this is a new area. This isn't the shoreline. This is the shore... Shoreline line. I don't know. Ooh, the slug cat spirits have beseeched me in my dreams. What does it mean, I wonder? It's funny, when you Google slug cat to find slug cat pics, none of these dreams seem to show up. But there's a lot of good slug cat art in these that I, I wasn't seeing on Google Images. Alright, we're climbing back up the social credit ladder, ladies and gents, and otherwise. Um, I did not get any noticeable points on the, the faction system here. By the way, what's the, the thing on the top right? You seeing that? What the fuck are those? Was that there before? That could have just appeared, or maybe it was there the whole time. I have no idea. Oh, it's collectibles. Okay, that kind of makes sense. It's a very hyperlight drifter looking, uh... Throw an object backward during a slide to dramatically increase... These loading screen tips. Okay, apparently these loading screen tips aren't part of the original game. They're DLC exclusive, and a lot of people seem to really hate them. I don't know, dude. I, I, I can appreciate that. Like, a game with 90 pages of movement tech that doesn't tell you the tech and you just have to find it through trial and error. I'd prefer just to know the tech and then not use it because it's too hard. I think that's the barrier of entry. Um, so I, I would prefer the game actually told me its mechanics, um, so I could use them maybe if I really want to.
Is there anything up here? No. This is the cool zone. I'm in the Royal Waterways. I don't think I can get up this side, really. Maybe with a slug flip I could. There's not really enough room to do a slug flip, though. Uh, no, I seem to just want to fall down this pipe. Is one of these a mimic? No, okay. I see the jellyfish. What a lovely area. It's just large boxes and vines and jellyfish. Ooh, I can go in there. I saw a really terrifying message, by the way, in the Discord, which is that someone said, like, I only know Rainworld from the lore videos. Does it even have gameplay? Like, what the fuck do you mean? What? Where's the lore? It's, it's just gameplay. I feel like I'm, I'm Squidward, who was asked to make the crustless Krabby Patty. It's a bond. It's all crossed. Like, there's been no lore so far. It's, it's it's just like a fucking simulation. I can't reach that pole. Cool slug flip, though. Damn. Um, what are these things? They're kind of nothing, it seems. Hmm. The lore is inexplicably above you at all times. Uh, I can jump right onto that jellyfish down there. Can I pounce from a pipe? Not really. Ow. Okay. Right onto the jellyfish. Fortunately, it seems like the jellyfish don't immediately kill you if you touch them. You just have to sit on them for a while, I guess. Um, okay. Oh, there's a pole here. Almost missed that. The lore is hard to find and there's more in the DLC. I saw another comment that was also worrying, which was like, they added more lore in the DLC, but it's it's not made by the original devs and it's not canon and it's shitty. I don't know if that's true, but like, um, I, I won't find out either because I don't have the DLC installed. I don't think I can get up there. No. Hmm. Okay, how the fuck... I gotta get into that big horizontal hole. That was a throw boost I just did. Very cool. Is there a way up on the left? I don't see any way up. If I could get onto that box, I could pounce. Maybe if I go up then to the left, I can be on the box. Oh, down here, maybe. Yeah. I don't see any definitive opinions in chat about whether the lore was by the same devs or not. No one seems to really know. Maybe just no one really plays Rain World in chat. It's probably most people haven't actually played Rain World in general. Let's go back. Um, how do I do the thing where I turn around in the pipe? Wasn't it just hold and jump? It was revised by the OG devs. Hmm. How the fuck does this work? I've, I'm not playing like a marble maze game. Do I have to do parkour over there? Oh my god. Oh, oh, wait, wait. I got it. Perfect. So this is where I entered the zone. I recognize this. 
Okay, and now I do weird, janky paper parkour. Oh my god. There's a safety net. As long as I'm holding up, I can't go past that tape on the bottom. Oh my god. Wait, do I even need to be up there? What's the point? I can just hop along the bottom. Happy hop along Cassidy Station myself over there. Uh. Okay. I think... I can do the pounce on the pipe. Wonderful. Oops. Uh, there's a yellow pearl. Ooh. That looks important. Lots of pearls in general over here, but I can only pick one of them. He just tuned in. How long has he been in these rooms? Uh, not that long. I just got here, actually. Okay. How do I get up? If you're too close to the ceiling above you, you just lose all vertical momentum from these jumps. It's, it's quite hazardous, actually. Um... Oh my fucking god, are you kidding? It, oh wait, I got onto the pipe that I said I wanted to get onto. So maybe it's not a write-off. It did just sort of Bennett foddy me though. Looky hard. Okay, I'm in the orange god ray area now. Oh, huh. shelter. Perfect. Wait, I don't have enough food? I thought I had a... Did I not eat that that fruit? I was carrying a fruit around for so long that I forget to eat that. Oh, damn it. Okay. All I have to do is find one fruit before I die. Although I've seen literally no food in here so far. Nor in this room, really. Up here for sure, there's... Wait, where am I? Why is there no screen transition here? Bruh. The bugs? Oh, what the... That looks like lore. That's a lore. Yo, what's up? Wait a minute. Can I eat these? Oh. Wait, did that kill it? No, it's it's okay, it's okay. Uh I can't speak. I don't know how to interact with this guy. I'm not armed, look. Uh wait. Yellow guy, show me the vision again. Don't. Just don't do that. Yellow, yellow friend, show me what to do. Uh, did I at least get a food point from eating that thing? It seemed to like aggro the NPC here, but... Oh, the rain's coming. Alright, see you later. See you next time. Gotta go. Gotta run. <laughs> I really did need to eat that, uh, that thingy there. It was important. I'm sure it's fine. Blop. It was all worth it. I just thought they were bugs, you know? They, they looked like bugs. Oh, is that the, the being that I just uh, pissed off by eating the bug? 
Why do they also look so blobby? It's like a, a slug cat anthro sona thing. It got the slug cat thighs. I guess they'll go back and see if the uh, the world state has resetted. I don't know. Probably not. What is that thing? The fuck? It's uh, a leech in a bubble? There's a big one. Oh, there's more on the wall there. Um... I feel like I just did something, but it's unclear what. What do you mean I skipped the thing on the hibernation? I was on the hibernation screen for ages. I was looking at the, uh, the blue blobby fellow. There. Uh, they're still aggro, I think. It's, uh, it's unclear how it could communicate with this person anyway, is the thing. Yeah, okay. I don't think we're gonna get very much further with that. That one, the first living, <laughs> non-hostile living creature I've seen. Oopsie doopsie. I'm not gonna kill them. Please, okay. Well, now I'm in a pickle. How do I get off this? Mm. Is that jump even possible? That looks really hard. Um, there it is. Oh, it's it's these fake poles again. I just trolled trolled myself. And you go deep. I'm sort of taking the hint not to read chat much at this point. Um, ooh, I can get back up. Nice. That didn't look possible at first. Wait, but to what end? What the fuck do I do here? I guess all I missed from not making that jump was that yellow pearl. I don't even know what I'd do with the yellow pearl. I still super don't know how to get into this area though. Combine yellow orb with blue bow. <laughs> blue bow. I like that name. It's worth a shot. I thought the the orbs were for the uh, the scavengers. Maybe the pounce from here is the way to go. Nice. Into the crevice. There we are. Maybe if, <laughs> if I find an... Ow. Okay, that was not how you get back. I gotta do the parkour again. But uh, maybe if I find some, some new uh, funny looking 
virophage looking insects and bring it out, out of the tentacles uh, and bring it back to the, the blue bow, <laughs> as chat said. Uh, maybe they'll like me again. Uh, this was not the way up. I feel like they, they set me up to fail there, though. They give you, like, a whole zone with no food in it, and then a bunch of, like, suspiciously food-like objects sitting there. And, oh, no, you ate it. What did you do? You fucked up. <laughs> That's the bad ending. You wait the only food? Damn, dude. Oh, no. That's that's back at the start. <laughs> well, shit. That's a bad jump to miss. Okay, I know the route, though. Ow. Wait, fuck. Where'd the pearl go? Shit. Where'd the pearl go? Is it at the bottom? Wait. I can't go up. I can't go up? Okay. I found a bunch of rocks. That's not really useful though. Uh, why is my breath not recovering? I gotta be fully out of the water? Did anyone see like where the pearl bounced? Because I didn't even see it move. Okay, I got... Oh, I found it! Is that it? Yeah, that's it! Okay, perfect. That actually worked out. You just mash a uh, spacebar at the bottom of the ocean. I'm coming back, Bluebo. Glorbo. Glorbo-chan. Okay, um, how did I not fall? Oh, no, wait, I have to hold up? No, you fall down. Yeah, and then you do the parkour challenge, that's it. Yeah, well, fuck's sake. The pearl, okay, I saw where the pearl went that time. This is a harder jump than I realized at first. I'm good. Uh oh, I can't go that way. I'll get it though, I know the route. Half the battle in this game is knowing where you want to go. Oh, am I glowing because I swallowed something? I didn't notice that. I thought, like, I did notice there was more of a glow than I remembered, but I thought that was just, like, some environmental effect. Is the rain coming? Uh, it's, it's not for a little bit, guys. It's okay. If I make it this try, I, I might not die to the rain. It's this last little bit here. Okay, you can just walk over that. You don't even have to jump, that's the trick. Okay, the top is bait. You, you ignore the top half of this room. It's just like Celeste. The, the default jump in this game actually does feel a fair bit like Celeste, funnily enough. Um, not much else, but the, the, the jump. Hold up. Are you fucking kidding? Are you fucking- how did I- I released up for like a frame. That was like one frame of missed input. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go back to the shelter. I don't have any food. Okay, never mind. Well, if I go back to the shelter and starve, I'll at least still have the pearl. I don't know where the pearl goes otherwise. Because I don't have enough time to- maybe I have enough time to beat the rain. Okay, if I get it this cycle. 
Oh, I could eat the pearl, but I think there's already something on my stomach that's making me glow. I kind of like the glowing effect, so... I'll keep that if possible. Okay, this time for sure. Nice, nice. Dismount the pole. The pole's just a trap. Good. All right. All right. All right. We're on pace. World record pace. Okay. See, what happened the first time was that that upper pole trolled me. I wanted to grab the lower pole, but I released up just a f second, a fraction of a second too soon because I thought that I'd already grabbed the pole. I'm going back to Blue Boat. Well, I'm gonna, I guess, stop at the shelter and starve myself first, because there's no other option here. I'm just going to die otherwise. I've never tried this before, actually. Apparently it's bad. You hold down, right? It's not doing it. You need one pip? Well, that don't matter. Wait, you lose a karma anyway? Or is that because I starved to death and died? That could be a passage. One time use, fast travel to any discovered shelter, recovering all karma? Bruh. Well, that seems really good, okay, but, but if I do that, I won't be able to give the pearl to Blue Bow. Um, do I keep that? If if I don't use it, do I does it I can save it? Or is it just like take it or leave it? Now's your chance. I can save it. Okay. I wonder where I respawn. I guess at the same shelter. Oh wait, the chieftain embraces strength in the community and in the unknown. They have become part of this world. So that's the pacifist ending symbol. Got it. Oh, it reset the pearl. I forgot that it's like the time rewinds when you do that. Wait, did I just dash? I think I I slid. How do you how do you slide again? Yeah, there it is. Okay. All right. Well, we know what to do this time. You just got to go back and get the pearl and do the parkour, and it shouldn't be even that hard. It seemed like I, I double tapped and did like a dash there, but I I don't know how to replicate that. Oh, that's, that's not the right way. Go up, there you go. Alright. Um... Oh, cycle 27, looks to the moon. The, if you pay attention to the letterbox, and you'll know when the caption's coming up. Is looks to the moon Bluebow's real name then? Um, it seems like all the, the NPC names in this game have that format. I'm just gonna keep calling them uh, <laughs> Bluebow though. Oh, actually, no, you get a shortcut right back up to the pearl if you just don't fall off the pipe. There we go. They really give you a free pass on this one, okay. Yoink. Yeah. Alright, now hold up. 
This is the part where you hold up. Oh, not yet. Wonderful. Swallowed the orb? I've already swallowed the, uh, the glowstone, apparently. I want to keep the glowstone. Also, it would be kind of kind of gross to give Bluebo the orb that's that's like drenched in your stomach juices. There might be some bad feelings. It, it would remind them of the uh, the last thing that you put in your stomach, you know, that maybe upset them a lot. Hey, Bluebo, I got the the thing. I got the thing. Um, if I hold down, I can just sort of shit. Sorry, sorry. Uh, wait, wait a minute. Here it is. Here it is. Um, there you go. You gonna eat that or what? I don't think they give a shit. Press X? That would just like grab their leg. I don't think that would be a... <laughs> I'm doing like the actual, the cat thing, where they rub their, their face against your leg. Okay. You don't want the pearl? What if I, uh, throw it at you at high velocity? Will that help? Lubo super doesn't want the pr oh there's a fucking jellyfish in there ow 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 wait okay I'll just leave it here then you can do whatever the fuck you want and then I'll just leave okay I'll come back in twenty hours. When I have the Metroidvania power up that lets me, uh, yeah, do the thing. Alright. Okay, now I have to escape this hellhole before I starve to death again. Dum -dum 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 Try eating random stuff. I'd have to cough up the glowstone, though. You can eat the jellyfish? That sounds like a great idea. Uh, maybe I'll pick a, a new pearl though, just for fun. Just a souvenir. Um. This was an ecosystem simulator, not an only up. I think you mean getting over it with Bennett Foddy. I'm, I've never heard of that game. Um, the shelters aren't actually that far apart here. It's just there's no fucking food. This is how I came in. Is there... This seems like a dead-end zone. I didn't see any other exits. Y you access this area strictly to commune with Bluebo. And then you leave when you're done. Uh, oh my god, how did I do that? Swimming controls, like, you can just throw yourself around at weird velocities. Um, oh. Oh, oh. Okay, this pole is useless. It's gonna deploy me onto the jellyfish. Oh, there's another uh, hallucination of a fish. I don't know if these do anything, but they're kind of cool. Maybe if I follow the fish? I mean, the fish is only taking me left, which is literally the only direction to go. Uh, ow, 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 ow.
I'm coming for that. Uh, I guess I gotta drop the pearl. Ooh, no, 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 no. Um. Yeah, I, I saw the area name on the second time I entered it. Um, somehow. So I, I'm up to the I'm up to speed on looks to the moon. Wait, I went super fast there. Why? Is that because I was holding? Oh, I dropped the spear. Okay, never mind. We're good. Seriously eat the jelly, yeah, that sounds funny. Sure. I'm gonna eat this fucker. No, oh, it actually works. I didn't die or anything. Ah. Uh, so that's where you're supposed to actually get food here. Clever. I'm not sure why you'd try that, though. <laughs> You see a jellyfish, and that's just like, well, that kills me if I touch it, obviously. Okay. Right, now I'm back here. <laughs> Which... This doesn't really help me very much. Um... Because that's a super dead end. All I can do now is go back r left into the leech pit zone. is shaking. The rain? Yes, the rain is coming. What does the rain do on the ocean? Surely nothing good. I don't remember the ocean being this large. Here, I'm safe. I can just stay underwater until the, <laughs> the rain stops. Uh, that's bad. Is there a, I don't think there was a shelter that close by. Wait, the rain stopped for a second. Crazy. Ow. Um. Uh-oh. Oh, it's coming back. Rain's coming back. The water's going nuts. Wait, oh, the shelter's right here. Fuck, climb. There we go. It all worked out. That's the rare rain pattern. Oh, of course. Ouchy ouch. ouch. <clears throat> Ooh, I got saint points. That must be for giving Bluebow the Blorbo. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever you do in this game. Yeah, those planets must be durable as fuck. That I think someone on the server was discussing like um, what a rain world farming mod w would be like, and sort of makes you think about like every plant in this world has to be able to survive under a, a pressure washer for six hours, um, otherwise they're not going to make it. Pretty intense as far as uh, agriculture would go. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, no creatures eat plants because they're too tough to be eaten. I guess so. I mean, something has to eat the plants, otherwise the ecosystem couldn't exist, but... Maybe it's literally just those, um, the bats. that are the only herbivore. Oh, actually, no. I I'm eating berries, like, right the fuck now. But never mind. Hey, 
Hey, Remnant. How is it going? The game has been good. I, I met a, a blue person in a room, and I immediately pissed them off by eating a, a gnat. Uh, that, that's all that's really happened so far. Um, I'm tempted, to be honest, to use that passage thing just to escape the fucking leech pits, because, like, I don't know how to get out. And I don't really like this area, but... Um, I... It wouldn't be optimal karma regen is the thing. It says it recovers all your karma, which is nuts, and I, I think I'm at level 2 karma already. Or level 3, maybe. So maybe I'll press onward into the leech pits, lose all the karma in the process, and then use the passage to get out. Uh, ow. I don't like the leeches. I don't like them. Okay. The thing was, up here, there is a, a white lizard that's just sort of guarding progression. And I didn't see any great way to get past it. Okay, now that I know that those things apparently aren't that dangerous, that, that's, that's good info. I'll continue to eat the Borbo pips, though. Actually, there were two of them here earlier. I don't know why there's just one, though. Okay, this is the white lizard zone. Does anyone see the lizard? I don't, but that's also the point. Maybe I should just run before it... Was that a lizard noise? Come on. Come on. Get up there, dude. Oh, the slug flip wasn't enough. Hmm. Um, it's just a bunch of jellies, actually. I can eat those. Nom nom nom. Oh, I'm full, okay. And the jellyfish are actually maybe more dangerous when they're, uh... Oh, if you take them out of the water, they fucking... short circuit? That's weird. Um, I was gonna say, the jellyfish are more dangerous... ...if you're full, because you can't eat them. Was this the white lizard zone? Oh my god. Uh... Okay, dude. I hope there's a shelter eventually up here. Uh... I kinda need one of those. I'm not going down the, the pit and dying. Okay, this looks like a dead end, effectively. Let's try up. If there is anything up? I don't know. No, there's actually nothing here. Huh. Ooh, ooh, escaping the leech pit. I like it. What the fuck, dude? The white lizard was off screen and can still get you? They don't even have to be on screen to eat you anymore? Alright. There goes my, my weapon. Try eating left leg. These aren't even the real leech pets. Oh, goody. I can't wait for the true leech pit zone. Uh, wait. Oh, there's a blue guy. Yeah, that's a different one. Or it changed color. I, I can't get over there. There's a lizard. Wait, yeah, how do I get up? Oh, wait, that's the fucking lizard. It's right there. Can I just grab the lizard's tail? Just Just pull its tail. Okay, even if there wasn't a lizard, I don't know how to get up there. 
It doesn't seem feasible. Maybe through here? The other side. I gotta get over there somehow. I can do that. Oh wait, that's a solid wall. I can't do that. Huh. Well, I'm a bit stumped. Um, yeah, that that's just a big old concrete wall. Can't get past it. Is the blue one being generated by Bluebo? What what happened to the yellow one? Swim left? That, that's all I can do. But I want to get to the right somehow. Wait, no, that's like an invisible wall. I literally can't go that way. Huh. I can't reach that one up there. I don't have the, uh, the high jump yet unlocked. Or maybe with the, the power of god and parkour on my side, I can do a slug flip into a wall bounce into a uh, pole grab. Wait. Come on, do the slug flip. Wait, if you change direction, you get a boost, right? Hmm. You said you could... Oh, that was cool. I don't know exactly what I'm trying to accomplish here. Maybe some combination of janky movement tech will allow me to reach that. Hmm. I doubt it, though. Well, if I had a spear, maybe. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um... Fuck knows where I can find a spear. Maybe if I just dredge the bottom of the, uh, the water? Or maybe I have to go... Um, navigate to it down here. That's another possibility. Can I go down here? Oh, fuck you can. That's bad. Well... Does this kill me? Yeah, it kills you. Super kills you. Just made it, all right. I see nothing useful down there at least, that's fortunate. Uh, that's just a pearl up there. What the fuck is that noise? Why was it making that noise? Okay, maybe if I'm lucky I can actually get back and rest at least. That would be nice. And then I have more of a plan in mind, I can consult the map. Yeah, come back with a spear, maybe. See if I can get across. Where does that... That path just connects back to the same room here. Um, which... Okay, ow, 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 ow. Not the leeches, dude. Oh, fuck me, the leeches. Okay, recover. Okay, it's not as hard to traverse the leeches as I assumed. You don't want to know what lurks below the leeches. <laughs> no, I really don't. I didn't get any affiliation points that time. Tap the jump button right when coming out of a pipe to propel yourself quickly outward. That looks really funny, but what is the timing? That seems like actually quite tricky. No, no, no. Um, 
I could perma farm here, but I it's I think it's better just to go out with uh what is it? Like enough hunger to rest at the next shelter do you see? That's probably a better use. Ooh, that's the spear. I need that. Okay, don't die immediately. Don't die, I said. Can you come on. Get the fuck out. Okay. I'm going back with a plan. A little bit of a plan? Kind of a plan. Like a pseudo plan. It seems like you can just get lucky with the water physics sometimes and not really penetrate the surface. You skip along it. Um, there's probably a spear somewhere along this corridor as well. Okay, I gotta consider where the best possible point to use a spear is to somehow get across that pipe. Is the lizard back? If the lizard appears here, you're... I think that's the lizard. Shit. Oh, it's a bat. Never mind. That's like the opposite of a lizard. Let me eat you. Come back. Uh... Okay, the spear is not going to be enough to climb up there directly. I can eat these. Nom nom nom. Eat it. I really don't like to experiment with the creatures. I guess I don't, because, like, generally that just kills you, but... I've adopted the free mindset in real life. See, I don't want to experiment with that. Like, what the fuck is that thing? The game says that death matters not, but it, like, does? <laughs> That's the pro- Like, it actually is- it punishes you quite harshly for dying in this game. Hmm. I don't see an obvious way to get across here with a spear. Wait, there's two blue guys. There's two of them? Really? Okay. The double blue bow. Actually, that's a, an interesting point, is that there's nothing actually up there. Um, even if you can get up there... Oh, there's the lizard. There's the lizard. Yeah, okay. Uh, oh, maybe the lizard will drop me up here just by pure random chance. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be cool? It seems like that would that would probably kill me, though. Maybe a sea serpent will surge out of the ocean and kill the lizard. Oh, or the vulture. Vulture? A? A? I don't know where the lizard went. I'm probably just dead, aren't I? Yeah. The fruit respawns, that's nice. I know the spear intel, unless it's it spawns randomly. It looks like it spawns randomly. Okay, that's less good. Oh, you can jump off the water if you time it. That's weird. 
Okay, not that time. It didn't work that time, but, uh, fucking hell, the leeches. Please! Sometimes the leeches just get you, and you, you die. Oh dear, well there goes the karma. The friend embraces the others and the unknown. The world is cruel and unforgiving, but together comfort and protection can be found. That's the pacifist ending. The chieftain is some other thing. Uh, wait. I let go of the fruit. No, I didn't. Okay. The fruit sort of maybe glitched out or something. I didn't skip that time. How do you skip exactly? It seems like the leeches get you when you uh, go deep into the water. I'm not totally sure what governs that. Okay, we got... Uh, oh, somehow I got a spear. Cool. on me. Okay, lizard zone. There's another spear there. Convenient. It's working as intended. Eh. Let's see if the, the vulture bails me out this time. Ah, uh, no, I'm dead now. Okay. The tower seems like a fruitless venture. I couldn't disagree more. I get a fruit each time I die. I don't have any karma left to lose either. Uh, and I honestly don't know where else to go is the problem. Um, okay, so over here, there's the big vertical shaft. Over here, there's the big vertical shaft that takes me to the ocean, and maybe I swim left from from there. Um, I could swim downward to the right and die. Well, that sounds fun. Maybe I'll try that. Yeah, this looks cool. There's nothing here. Oh well. Hmm. Yeah, what about up here? What's up here? It's here. being too bold in the water? What do you mean? You, you can't progress in this area unless you swim in the water. 
that was my initial misconception about this whole zone. Is that you can just wander through these fucking mermen. And usually you don't die. Um, I, I thought it was a pretty reasonable assumption that you would always just immediately die by touching the mermen. But that's not true, you don't. Um, the monster kelp, you immediately die. There's another hallucination here. Funny. Um, I don't need food. Can I go down here? What about down there? Nothing. Come on. There you go. Uh-oh. Is this actually the way I came in here? I don't remember any of this. I guess it was. Come on. Go in the fucking pipe. How do you go in the pipe? Jesus. You can't go in the pipe? Why does it look like every other pipe you can go in? Wanna try the spear? Yeah, maybe. That was the fruit, not the spear. Fuck. There we go. All right. That didn't help at all, but I'm here now. Wait, can I... That also doesn't help at all, but okay. Uh, what's the rain looking like? I still got a while, actually. That's good. Okay, you avoid the leech pit. I skipped again. Look, I did it. I might be out. Holy shit, look at that. Yeah, this is how you get into this fucking hellhole. Okay. a popcorn bush there if I needed it. I don't. Uh, oh, I need karma to get out. But I, I only need level one karma to leave, it looks like. It's a one-way thing. Karma for eating the popcorn and the sleeping? Yeah, I got that. Whoa. Slide and spear. That sounds like a great way to, like, if you fuck that up, you immediately are eaten by the lizard. Cool. Uh, ooh, look at that. Two bucks from Splitball. Thank you. I just lost a Kara argument on Reddit. 
Please say it. <laughs> I think the real loss was engaging in a Kira argument on Reddit. Holy shit, dude. Oh man, that's uh, rancid. I'm pressing F right now, but it's not doing anything. Okay. <clears throat> uh, time to eat the popcorn, I guess. Wonderful. It would have been optimal to eat that fruit before the popcorn, but whatever. <clears throat> this is back to an area last stream. I, I know that. This is how I got in. I've spent, what is it, uh, an hour and a half so far just trying to leave this zone, basically. You know how it gives you those ratings on like the friend and the chieftain and stuff? It, sh it should give you one that's just the, uh, the yeet. Ooh, I got the monk. Maybe that's the one. It's just for eating and sleeping. We're literally just like going outside, eating and returning to the den. I don't even backtracking is required to finish the game. It's like a non-linear game. It's, it's all backtracking. It's all crossed. <clears throat> Uh, I, I'm, I, do I need, do I want that food? Maybe I, I, just one, just one fruit. So I can rest at the next shelter. It may be two if I'm here, you know. Let me through the sauna. Returning to Finland. <laughs> this, yeah. Oh, there was food outside. Oh, wait, this was the ball nexus. I forgot that that's actually how I got here, was through this ball zone. Uh, I hope there's an alternate way to get back, because I don't really want to go immediately back into Deep Nest. But I, oh, I have the glow, though. This area might actually be trivially easy with the, um, the glow activated. Ooh, look at that, the flower. I know there's an alternate way I didn't go though, because someone said I missed a shelter in an area that I accidentally fell into once. Um. <clears throat> there was a spider monster here once that ate me, but I haven't, oh, there it is. That's the spider monster. Right, that's the pearl. Don't throw the pearl, throw the spear, dude. Throw the spear. Okay, it killed itself. Nice. Now will I find the pearl again? What happened to the pearl? Probably gone. Did someone say this area was like... Mario Odyssey vibes? <laughs> I think that might be a boss baby moment. Isn't anything in my stomach? I guess I can test it. Oh yeah, it seems like he really wants to eat that. Wait, so it, someone said that I ate something that makes me glow. Is that like a permanent effect? Like it's not because it's in my stomach. I just ate some object and now I'm glowing forever, which that would be nice if that was the case.
So these like glowy bubbles are just everywhere now. They're just permanent. I don't know what caused them to appear. I can't go down there. It's one of two permanent upgrades in the game. Well, nice. I don't even know what I did to get it. Like, I literally have no idea. Uh, wait, this looks more familiar. Where does this other one lead? The fuck is that? Can I kill it? I want to see what it does to the mice. Oh, those were the bugs around Bluebo. Oh, I thought I had the glow before that, but I misremembered, I guess. Okay, that's a Cthulhu monster. That's like the Jersey Devil down there. Um, it seems to own these orange things on sticks. It's like guarding the orange, uh, the orange things. I don't really want one though, so I'm good. It makes a lot of sense progression-wise that you would get like a permanent glow after defeating the deep nest area. But apparently that's that's optional. You get the bad ending if you pick up the glow upgrade. Hmm. Oh my god. How do I get up there? <laughs> Is slug cat void? I hope so. What a difficult to traverse room this is, wow. Well, how do I get up there? Oh, there's a hole. Nice, nice, nice. I do like the glowing eel bubbles. They add a lot to the environment here, I think. Um, see, I, I don't know if I've been in these rooms before, because they look totally different now that I have a light source, is the thing. I can go down from there. Maybe I'll try that. I'm looking for new, new frontiers here within the ancient basin. Well, that's a really... Stupid screen transition. <laughs> Holy shit, that's bad. Nauseating. The uh, the wall jumping's difficult enough as it is, you know? It's like... There we go. Holy shit. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, I made it. There it is. The <laughs> sands teleportation. Hey, five bucks from Lunos. Oh no, five R bucks. That's cool. I love an R buck uh, from Lunos to say hi. Hi, Lunos. Hi, hello. Okay, there is. Oh, that's the spider zone. It's okay. The spiders don't seem to bother you unless they're sort of like the leeches. They have to gang up on you. Um, can I go down here? No. The rain? Yeah, the rain's coming. Well, if I don't find a shelter, I will certainly experience the rain. But I'm basically just exploring right now. Like, maybe there's a shelter down here. Or not. There's moss. There's cogs. I know you can eat the moss. Okay, that's not progress. Climb up the pole. Oh, 
we got like banners up here. Look at that. That's kind of cool. Can't read them, but theoretically, that's neat. Um, okay, still remarkably light on shelters, but who knows? They could be around any corner. Look how big this zone is. Like, where is this? Holy shit. Right down here. There it is. Providence. Providence. This was never happening. The first stream I did, like, I would always just die. And now it seems like I find the shelter at the last second, guaranteed. There were lizards in there? I didn't see any lizards. I'm better at the game now? I guess so. Level 4 karma, and I got a monk point for some reason. And a saint point for some reason. Maybe for not killing the guardian of the orange globes? Whatever that guy was. That's the Wanderer symbol. So this area looks fun to explore. There's a lot of space down here actually that I didn't realize was part of the Citadel at first. It's like a whole secondary area. Please. It's, it's deceptively hard to do the wall jumps. Imagine trying to explore this without the light, though. Like, you'd be super fucked. Oh, is this where the balls are manufactured? There's, like, small balls down here. That's a lot of spiders going up that pipe. Hmm, not good. Ooh, spider ball, spider mass. Um, wait, how do I leave? I don't see any way back up. And there's a million spiders in the way, like one million spiders. Huh, they don't seem very good at moving is the one saving grace. They're actually really bad at moving. Here we go. Uh, if I go in the pipe with the spider, surely that'll help somehow. Um, how do I get across there? I see no obvious way. Maybe if I throw the spear? It didn't help. Ah, uh, fuck. Spider ball, spider ball, spider ball. Oh, they're repulsed by light. Well, I am light itself at this point, which is kind of cool, but can you move? They're not quite a spider. It's like a centipede made of spiders. It's pretty gross. Um, okay, maybe if I... Oh, that's how you do it, I bet. That's got to be how you do it. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. So we escaped the leech pit, and now we're in the spider pit. That's the reward one of those kind of games. The map is quite useful. Oh, for fuck's sake. Dude, I just like elbow dropped in into the spider zone. That was unfortunate. This one, um, this game is very nice in terms of environmental design where everything looks very natural and blends in, but that also means that you have these vertical pole looking objects that are in fact not poles, which is a bit misleading. A coalescipede. The centipede coalesces out of the spiders. Very cool. This room's a soft lock if you miss the spear throw. That bad, eh? I guess I just won't go back to that room. <clears throat> Was this the way back to that room? I can't remember.
Maybe. Ooh, there's a flower there, though. Uh. But let's do whatever the fuck these things are. Uh. Oh, I think it might be the same room. But that's okay, I know how to get out of the room. Kinda. Yeah, it's the same room, shit. Well, it was worth it for the flower, though, if I can escape. Um, gotta wait for the spider ball to come back so I can jump over the spider ball. What's the spider ball doing? Come on. I don't even the devs themselves understand exactly. Ow. Oh, okay, the spider ball kills you still. Okay, well this time I can actually properly not go back to that room. Uh, and because I got that flower, <clears throat> I don't lose any karma. You can kill the spiders. Like all of them? With with a flamethrower maybe? I feel like if I throw the spear, like that'll kill one of the 400 spiders. up. What is that then? Oh, that's a lizard. Huh. I thought those were mice. That's why I was ignoring them, I think. Oh, this is a dead hint. Yoink. <clears throat> Maybe that's why these rooms were so convoluted, was to avoid the lizards. And I just didn't notice them. Weep! Oh, they're fighting. Oh, the lizards are all coming. Uh, oh. Uh oh. Unfortunate, okay. Let's look at the map first this time. Um. Okay, so if you make it to the top of the spider room, there is a new area. Uh, there doesn't appear to be anything obviously new from that the lizard room. Oh, that's where the, the extra shelter is. Which is actually quite far away. Probably not worth going back up there. That seems to be a different area than I'm in now. Okay, spider room it is. Traverse the spider room. You you missed the last one. Somehow the physics changed on like the last jump. Okay, so the strat here is, um, I forget, I forget the strat. The spiders are camping outside. Can you move spiders? I can see them all down there by the pipe exit. Okay, they moved. Oh, could I have just done this the whole time? 
Huh. Uh, so are those poles or are they not? See, I can't tell. They're not poles. Like, those literally aren't poles. That's really fucking confusing. That's not a platform either. This room is just a death trap. Uh, okay. Do I still have the spear? No, somehow I lost the spear that I need to, to leave the room. Huh. Great. Okay. I've, I've reacquired the spear. This room sucks. The Dragon Slayer? I'm not getting any of those. You can throw stuff at the spiders. I just don't picture that being very effective. Like, you can throw stuff- I can throw stuff at, at anything in this game. I can throw stuff at the walls. I can throw stuff at the ocean. I don't think the ocean's gonna mind, though. Hmm, okay. I could go down that hole. Basically, the way you, you beat this room is just you don't fall into the spider pit in the first place. That's really the strategy. Uh, and don't be caught by the fake platforms, the platform mimics. Um, okay, where from here? That's a pole. That's a pole. That's also a pole. Made it. Easy. flashbang zone. Um, are are the, the glowing eel balls replacing Aggie now? Hang on, wait. But I need the flashbang plant. Um, I need that. Fuck off spiders. Uh-oh. Wait, how do I actually leave, though? Uh, the spear... Oh, I think the flashbang killed the spiders, actually. That's cool. That works. At the pole? Oh my god. Up we go. Oh. Oh, there's one up there. Avoid that. Um. Uh, yep. Uh, yep, okay. This is very much, this is the real deep nest. The other one was just like, dark nest. Um, it didn't have any real spiders. This is where they store the spiders, clearly. Uh, okay, well this is bad. There's no way up. There's no way out. What is the fucking nature of this room? How do I leave? I can't go through there. Okay. They really like putting you in the um, no way out spider pit rooms in this zone. Made it. There was a down path. There wasn't. There was a million pipes in the floor, but none of them actually let me in. Um, it's actually... I'm not really sure what those are. Like, you know, this thing right here. Like, it looks like a pipe, but you can't go in it. Is that just for creatures to go through? This room isn't actually that hard to navigate, if you know what to do. Um, okay, so I want one of those flashbangs for sure. Uh 
Uh, that spear is not high enough. Hmm. Okay, that's that's bad. Is there another spear? Am I holding a spider? I don't want it. This room soft locks you with the spear? Oh, for fuck's sake. That's actually a soft lock? It's not a soft lock. Check the pipes. The pipes don't do shit. The, the pipes are dead ends. see changes in uh. what is down here I wonder probably a spider death pit Moist. Hmm. Are there water spiders? Probably. That fucking thing looks like a water spider to me. The spear didn't bother it in the slightest. Okay, well there's no getting past that. You can throw shit at it, but it doesn't seem to really care. Uh. Alright, very much nothing useful down here, it seems. The Outer Wilds DLC does not make it worse. What the fuck are you talking about? You don't even have to engage with the DLC if you don't want to. That's like just objectively false. Unless you mean the key bindings, in which case that is objectively true. Breath of the Wild had DLC? That's a thing? I don't think of Nintendo games as having DLC. That seems weird. Uh, yeah, eat that. Eat the thing. Okay, so you want to grab the flashbang. You want to throw the flashbang. Uh, you want to find the spear. And you want to not miss the throw. Uh, except the where is the spear? Does it even give you a spear? There isn't a spear. <laughs> what do you mean there's not a spear? You have to bring the spear? Oh.
Go down the path with the kelp. That's it. Just kills you. You approach the kelp and you die. Just kill with what? Just kill the kelp? How? How? What do you mean, just kill it, strangle it with my slug cat paws? I threw a spear at it, that didn't work. That's the spear that I need to not soft lock in the other room. I don't think there's exactly a surplus of spears down here, okay? Oh wait, I can go and get the flashbang from the spider room and that'll kill the kelp, except I can't leave the spider room if I get the fucking, if I actually go in there. All right, just kill the kelp. All right, I'll just kill the kelp. Put the kelp in the meat grinder. Here we are. Don't lose the spear. Okay. Good start. Did it. Um, let me guess. There's a second jump immediately. Oh wait, there's a pole here that also soft locks you if you miss it. I think I need to do two of them. Unless there's, there's a hole in the ceiling there? Oh, there is, okay. Okay, what now? Bring a flashbang too late. Oh, this is how I died last time. Okay, never mind. I am bringing a flashbang. Whoop. Going back. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, where's the spider monster? Direct me to the spider monster. Nice, they're dead. Uh, wait, was this the other death pit that I can't escape from? I have a spear now though, so I can't escape. But like, holy shit, why are there so many death pits? Okay, if I miss the spear throw, I'm fucked, right? Just don't miss. Nailed it. I've bypassed two soft locks so far. How many more await me? Uh, okay, spider death. Spider death pit. Um. Oh, that this is the other spider death pit. The other other one. Right. Uh, where do I go? There's no exits to this room. What the fuck is this room? To the left isn't? Oh, you can just go to the left? Uh, okay, gotta wait for the spider balls to disperse a bit, though. Maybe, oh, they can climb up here. That's not good. What the fuck? It can just climb anywhere. It, it just goes everywhere. Bye-bye. I want that. Oops. Ay, 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 ay. All right, goodbye, spider ball. Making great progress here. I'm feeling good. Just fall into another spider ball pit. Okay. Um, this is bad. Uh, it's 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 garden. How do I get past that fucker? Are there poles to climb on? No. Uh. Lure him. I could just YOLO it, but there's just like a very tangible chance that kills me immediately. Okay, throw the spear. The spear missed. Did nothing. 
but it's it's crawled into a corner and I can bypass it. Perfect. All right. Sometimes they just let you have the win. Does this ever end? Does this area end? Can I can I win now, please? Can I have a something? This is bad. Oh, okay. Between a spider ball and a spider ball. Okay. How do I know when it's not guarding the pipe anymore? Please, please. Oh my fucking god. They make noises now? Can you leave? They can't use pipes, but they can permanently camp in front of them. Uh... Oh, it got me out of the pipe. It, it can just pick you out of the pipe. Cool. I wonder what you actually get from going up here. Like, what could there possibly be up here that's actually worth this trouble? This sequence reminds me of some, uh, like, C Celeste chapters, like the really hard Celeste chapters. Um, like the, like the last screen in Farewell, where it's just like this seemingly impossibly long gauntlet of things that will, each individually can kill you, like, 30% of the time. And it's just this huge numbers game, this endurance fest of, like, being consistent enough. Oop, oh, I think I, I, I got away with it. I guess it also kind of reminds me of the cave story, uh, the cave story hell run. Uh, that kind of felt like this too. It was a combination of like um, going in there like a Navy SEAL with like your exact plan mapped out, and also just accepting the inevitability of death. If the okay, so you can't get the tall one. That really should be the one I get on the way down, because like I can't bring that one with me. Okay. Um, I'll probably need this flashbang for the next room. The thing is, there's like three rooms where I need this flashbang, but I only have one flashbang. Oh wait, the spider ball fell down. Does that mean that it's not going to be up here to harass me? Maybe. It's, uh, there's something guarding the pipe, but it's not insurmountable. Okay. I think I may be able to save the flashbang if I'm careful. Uh, this was a spider room, but I just have to go left really fast. Um, and use the flashbang if I need to, maybe. Uh, that's a fucking... Are you kidding? How far did you have to throw the flashbang, slug cat? I know that you, you used to be a, a major league pitcher, but like you didn't have to demonstrate that in that particular scenario. Okay, one more try. Slug cat throws like the beast titan. I don't even know what that is. Uh, I feel like the spiders can't hurt you until they become the centipede, which is nice, I guess. They're just for aesthetics otherwise. 
All right. So now the plan is you get the tall one, you throw it, every spider dies. Um, you can grab a second one, climb up here. Um, actually, I guess you don't need to bring more than one out of the room. Um, cause you just have to go back. Like you could really turtle in and go and methodically exterminate the spiders in each successive room, but I don't think I'm quite ready to, uh, try that. Or maybe just right here is where you do it, actually. You kill the spiders here, then you just go back and leisurely pick up the, uh, the last flashbang. Oh, there's poles here. Wait, do you even need to go down? Oh, you don't even need to go into the pit. What the fuck? But you want the flashbang, so you, you, you kind of do need to go into the pit, actually. Yeah, I do have that indomitable human spirit, you're right. Okay, here we go. So there's like three rooms in a row up here, which is like, uh, spider death holes, basically. Are there still living spiders in here? What's the point? They give you a spear. That was the flashbang, for fuck's sake. Okay, uh, I need this spear. Okay, there's no more flashbangs. Ten Arbucks from Lunos again, thank you. Uh, hey, Andrew, I wanted to say that your VOD kept me sane while I was studying for my Calculus 3 exam, so thank you. Um, also, when you release the devlog, will a demo be released on Patreon? The next time we release a devlog, the demo is going to be released publicly. That's that's the plan. That The next devlog is going to be um, a hybrid like announcement with a public demo of RAM. Uh, so no need to worry about being able to access that. Um, and I, good luck with Calc 3, unless you've already taken it. Um, I only made it to Calc 2 personally. I, I passed with 54% and then I took a combined program where I didn't have to take any more calculus. <laughs> I'm not, not a big fan really. Okay, so this without any flashbangs is a total fucking crapshoot. Just gotta go for it and hope. Just gotta hope. It seems like if you just go on your first time, the spiders don't have time to coalesce. Uh, and maybe they don't eat you. Unless they start pre-coalesced, in which case they do eat you. You can never quite know for sure. Okay, going well. Uh, okay, this is the room that I got, like, not soft locked, but it, it felt like I was soft locked in. Um, hit climb. Just don't miss any of the jumps ever under any circumstances. Uh, leap of faith. It worked. All right. That's a lizard. Oh, we got lizards now. But the shelter's here. That's perfect. Do I have any food? For fuck's sake. Okay, I should have eaten the moss. There's orange moss in here, but... God knows where I get it now. Wait, does the flower actually refill your, um, your hunger? No, it doesn't. <laughs> it just, it just protects my zero karma. Great. Uh, okay, okay. Ow. Great, very cool. So I should have eaten the moss, is the moral of the story. I'm not sure if I'm dead yet. Oh, that, that's where the fruit is. I mean, that's good to know. If I go up, I can find food. Where's it going? Why is this area so fucking big? What's even up here?
Like, isn't that just the entrance? Like, where am I going? It feels a bit like I just came down here to have the pleasure of escaping again. Uh, there was moss in one of these rooms, right? I feel like there was definitely some moss, but I don't remember exactly where. There's the moss, okay. That's all I had to do, <laughs> was eat one single unit of moss. I've gotten so automatic with the spider room that I just ignored the moss at this point, I guess. Okay, spider room two, let's go. Uh, maybe s eat it. Eat the flashbang. I hope it doesn't go off. That would be really funny. That wasn't the spear. Alright, well good thing I have the second flashbang. Wonderful. Now that I know the, um, the run quickly strat, Maybe it'll work. I fell into the hole without a spear. I I don't I forget every time that this is a soft lock. Every single time. I never remember that it's actually a, a platforming challenge here. Is there a spear? No. You can reach the pole? Maybe with this a flip? It seems oh maybe that one actually. Aha! It's not a soft block. Okay. So I wasted the flashbang for no reason, but Whatever, just run for it. Just run Lamau. Ooh, spear. I think I dispersed that one actually by throwing the spear at it, so it kinda works. I have the moss that- yes, okay. If I make it to the shelter, I'm allowed to win. Says the game. How many of these rooms- it feels like a- it, it's a- it's like a joke being played on you. Just like every time you beat the room, there's another identical room afterward. <laughs> with the same spiders. Um, okay. Nice. Uh, this was the leap of faith, right? Then you grab the pole, then you're free. That's it. That's all it takes. All right. We're back at the top of Deep Nest. What did I gain from any of that, though? I'm not just going to leave the citadel immediately, because, uh, like, up to the surface is an area that I've already been, and I came back here to, you know, find something new, presumably. There better be something. I'm not sure what you can even find in this game besides those, the funny, the dudes, you know? Bluebo and co. Like, there might be another one of those dudes, or I don't know even what else you can find. Have I been here? I have. Oh wait, that is just the entrance. I'm already back at the entrance.
I came through that, the spider gauntlet. What the fuck was the point of any of that? What was any of that for? Like, this is the only new path, and there was just a kelp in the way. There's stuff if you go down. Well, you, there's the kelp in the way. I don't know how to get past the kelp. You go up. Stun the kelp. Well, I'm not going back there now. Like, I'd have to do that whole gauntlet in reverse. With no flashbangs. Where was that again? I guess I am going back to industrial. There's nowhere else to go. I can use that, uh, the super passage ability to get back to the, uh, <clears throat> climb the wall? What wall? What wall? <laughs> what, what do you mean? Go up, up there? Oh, I see. It's an out-of-context spoiler. Well, too bad for you. I'm taking it literally because I don't get the joke. And now we're stuck with this. Oh, this is this room. I, I, I remember this. I just didn't know what it looked like with uh, with lighting on. Okay, so this is going to go back toward the other side of the citadel, so this is not where I want to go. Um, okay, I, I know this place now. Right, this was the bad, annoying room. I literally didn't recognize it with the lights on. Huh. Lizard. Okay, the lizard doesn't really care about the flashbang, it turns out. Yo, the peak of a bat. So that's the tech that I've never managed to do this, but you can throw down to do that. Apparently, I guess I can try it in this the shelter here. Oh, <laughs> well, if if you mess it up, you don't get the spear back, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay, I have been here. This the the citadel is actually unrecognizable with the lights on, strangely enough. Because uh, now that I think about it, the shape of this room is very familiar. Yeah, chat, you're lucky that none of the spoilers make sense. This seems to be a fairly unspoilable game in a lot of ways, because you're trying really hard to, uh, to ruin as much as possible. At least a few people are, but... Yeah, they're not spikes. Because I, I see stuff constantly, and then I'm like, well, I don't know what that means, and I'm just not going to like read it further. <laughs> that looks like it's... Uh, I shouldn't be looking at it, basically. Okay. Since when was there a lizard in this room, by the way? Can I... How do I get that? Oh, I can just go up here. There it is.
Uh, it really is a whole new zone, you know, without with the with the light. Oh, that was an unlockable. Hang on, I gotta get my unlockable for the fucking I don't know battle royale mode that I'm never going to use. Um, I got it. I, I got a new uh, I don't know victory royale dance. Uh, is this just the bridge again? Oh, it is. Wait, how did I get back to the bridge? This isn't where I want to be. Can I go up there? What is this scenery here? I'm like being blocked by a foreground brick. It's a different bridge. Huh. Kind of looks the same, actually. I'll cross it regardless. There is the lizard. Wait, what did this... Oh, there was a fucking brick right in front of me. <laughs> I thought I had a clear shot to the lizard, but... It, like, ex one foot in front of the slug cat's face, there was a wall. Oh well, the lizard moved on by itself. Where's this taking me? Where the fuck is this? This is like a new area. The, the Shaded Citadel is infinitely large, apparently. Which is great, because it's the best area in the game. Objectively the most fun. Uh, what's over here? I feel like I've been here, but maybe not. It doesn't seem like I've been here. Even though it feels kind of familiar. Um, uh, there's no making it that way. What's down here? There's a shelter. I don't have any food. Hmm. And I want one of those. What's making that noise? Something's playing a marimba in here. I feel like I'm... This feels familiar. But I don't think I've been here. Like, what? I need to find food somehow before I rest there. I can't tell if that's background music or if it's actually diegetic. I heard the lore? No, there's been no lore yet. I found a blue person in a cave and I pissed them off and that's... that was it. There was no communication or lore exchanged. I'm assuming those guys are the arbiters of the lore though. They look like they contain a high concentration of lore. If you were to like, you know, put them into a meat grinder and all that came out was their backstories? Yeah, they, they have a lot of lore in them. I have no idea where I'm going. Where the fuck is this? Uh, 
I just want some... Oh, those are the funny mushrooms. I don't really want to eat those, but the moss is okay. Hang on. Uh, no. Um, I wonder if I go back for the shelter. If every area is as big as this, then I've barely been exploring anything, clearly. Uh, oh, that's a scavenger. Did he flinch from the noise? That's kind of funny. Wait, where did the flashbang go? Did I eat it? I think I ate the flashbang. Ooh, okay, he's hostile. Just gonna avoid that. Oh, there's more though. Okay, we're taking bets on whether it... Bruh? That didn't kill me somehow. He just fucking sniped me. No hesitation. He came out of a pipe and was already throwing the spear. I don't remember how I got in here. Uh, the shelter was in that room. Okay, I can get back there, actually. That shouldn't be too hard. Uh, there's the shelter. faction points there. Why does it sometimes not even show certain ones? Like, there's no monk symbol here right now. For example. I think the wanderers to the right, which is probably just tracking which zones I've seen. The chieftain is to the top left. Maybe. I think. Because I lost them? They can go down? Okay, sure. Why not? As far as I'm concerned, all of those are just like the, the fucking LSD dream emulator upper downer static dynamic. Where like, no one on Earth actually fully understands what they mean. Um, maybe the developer, but you know, he's probably forgotten by now. Um... My AC is come on, I gotta put on some heavier clothing. Hang on, it's cold in here. Okay, maybe I'll just take a little bit of a break and get something to eat too. I need I need blood sugar to fucking weather this game. It's uh it's it's taxing, you know. Okay, to give me a, a couple minutes.
Ayo hey, chat, good to see the viewership holding strong through the break. I went and obtained some uh, old pork sandwiches, which are really good. Unfortunately, they're very buttery, so I can't really, if I, if I try to eat the thing further on stream, I'm going to have to go like wash my hands before I play again, because it's just going to cover my hands in oil immediately. Uh, what you all been talking about, chat? You forgot there was a stream, and yet you're typing it in the stream chat. Explain that. Curious indeed. Lizard world, a giant ball. Oh, that would be sweet. I hope there's a, a final lizard type later on that has the same behavior as the spiders, where they group together into like a megazord lizard. But each in individual lizard can still kill you instantly. So it's kind of unclear what the behavior is even for, you know? just came did i miss anything cool uh well you missed the first three hours of the stream which is mostly me what did happen did anything happen it was like i found blue bow and then it was the spider hell uh and now we're here still in spider hell so basically welcome to spider hell um maybe one day we'll go back to blue bow amalia's been sketched into the stream which has been nice I mean, yeah, honestly, not looking at the stream may be the superior experience. <laughs> Just listening to my uh, relaxing radio announcer voice, I guess. I thought that mouse was going to explode. I guess not, though. Okay, so I'm here. Where do I want to be going? To the left, maybe? How do I get there? Hmm, there's no obvious way to go left from here. Down and to the right? Uh, there doesn't seem to be any path down into the right. Unless you mean like really far to the right. Oh yeah, didn't I? I get I got there first and then I turned back because I wanted to use the shelter. Yeah, that was it. Okay, that's not how you progress. Um, maybe I should just leave the room. That's the first step. Okay. There we go. Wait. Wait, didn't I just... You just keep going underneath... The pillars here, yeah, th that's it. It sounds like everyone's been listening to the stream while drawing. Uh, okay. Maybe the lizard will eat the mice. Oh, is the lizard being killed by a spider monster? It's hard to tell, actually. You, you never quite know for sure with this game. Okay, the lizard is over there. That's fine. You can stay over there. <laughs> okay, it was just a joke. <laughs> it was just a joke. Can you fucking hit the lizard, please? I've thrown the entire contents of my attic at it and failed to actually hit the lizard. Is that a spider ball? Or just plants? I don't know. I think it was a spider ball, actually. 
uh, new Simi video. I saw that actually. I assumed that was a long time off, but it's it's here. The uh, Delusian under Delta Rune video. The <laughs> I'm not sure how to pitch it. I don't fully understand it myself. Somehow Simi has decided to analyze Delta Rune through the lens of some uh, 20th century philosophers that I know nothing about. Uh, th that's about as accurately as I can describe the video, honestly. It looks interesting. I... Can I leave here? Oh, I gotta go back to the left. Who is that? Oh, that uh, Simi is someone who's uh, part of my community, basically. A regular. Who has now uh, broken into the making videos about Deltarune scene. Maybe this way? Um... Oh, I should eat that moss. Should eat that. Oh, I'm in this big large room now. The big McLarge huge room. Uh, I could go to the left. Would that accomplish anything? No, that's I've still seen that. Um, so that top area just connects back up with here, and I've already been here, so I don't see a point in continuing really. Oh wait, in the last wasn't there a shelter I hadn't been to yet? That one. So if I keep following the path from before, and then I just use that shelter, maybe there's also a room down there. Okay, maybe something good will happen if I just follow the path. This will be probably easier in the light, but maybe also harder because I, I won't recognize the spaces immediately. And I can see the spider balls now. Honestly, one of the best defenses against the spider balls was just not knowing they were there. Because <laughs> usually you ignore them and it's fine. Is the mouse pushing me back into the pipe? Let me out. Okay, yeah, this room, I remember this room. Uh, yeah, I can go down. If I go up and then I go down. That's that's new. Uh-oh. Okay. I'm not sure how to advance here without the spear, actually. No, it gives you a... a, a pre-placed spear in the wall, that's right. Um, spider ball. So if I just drop down to the lowest depths of this pit, they got the uh, vaguely Korean characters built into the wall for some reason. That's cool. Uh oh, spider ball. No more spider ball. Maybe I should have saved the flashbang for the, the... They got more spiders in here, of course. I think this is new. They got the... Oh no, I remember this. What the fuck, man? Those guys make crazy noises, and I'm glad they do, because I wouldn't have noticed them otherwise. I think I've been here before, which makes me no longer want to be here. Okay. Um, yeah, okay, so the left is still unexplored, apparently. Spider ball. Yucky. Okay, this is new.
This is crazy looking. Or have I been here? I think I have. Because otherwise, how could I have gotten into that, this area? Um, maybe down here? I don't know. Oh, it's a, it's a guy there. Maybe this is new, who knows? Is my... Oh, have I played more Tears of the Kingdom or is my brother in custody of the Switch? Uh, well he's not, I just sort of haven't gone back to it. It's um... As soon as I got fully into the development of RAM again, it's like... It has a psychological effect where it's sort of like dampening my desire to play other games in a weir weird way. I don't know if that's a universal thing, but I've, I have heard it from a couple people, it's like... You know... Uh, instead of getting sucked into playing Tears of the Kingdom, it's like, why why not just work on RAM? Why not fuck with my own game a little bit? Which is, I mean, that's not just exclusive to working on games. It's sort of the same thing, even just working on videos, too. Um, I just find I get very sucked into projects, and I don't want to do other things. Spider-Ball. Why am I here again? What the fuck is the point of any of this? It's just like an endless rat maze of spiders and you die and like you don't know what you're trying to accomplish. Even. Like all I'm going to accomplish here by not dying is progressing deeper into the spider hole that I'll have to escape from later. And I'll be asking myself the same question. is like, why did I come down here? What's any of this for? I don't know what any of this game is for, by the way. I think that was one of the very first things, like, Oatsin asked when he joined last stream. I remember that message was like, what is your goal in this game? And I, I don't know. Oh, a shelter. Convenient. When the rain is starting, why not? I literally don't know what I'm supposed to be trying to do, even in the long term here. I got a uh, saint point, monk point, cool. What, Azzy Pants did that to me? Obsessed with Tears of the Kingdom and now only Azzy Pants. That's fascinating, Terry, that, that you seem to be the most infatuated with the Azzy Pants phenomenon, despite also being the person who's made the majority of the Azzy Pants content in the world so far. It's, it's impressive. You're sustaining, like, your own fandom. You find your family from the intro, maybe. Sure, but like... How? There's no indication of what... Where they went, it's just like... I'm just sort of trying to explore, that really is the only goal. Oh, so the saint is the pacifist root. I see. The friend is a different ending. It's rapidly turning into a bit. Okay, so we're in part six of the spider hellhole. Um, it seems to be the entire game is actually just the spider maze at this point. I don't know if there's any game left beyond the spider maze. Or if there ever was a game before the spider maze. I've sort of forgotten. Um, can I go in here? Cool. I like doing the bunny hops. I don't think it actually makes you go faster, but... 
It makes me feel like I'm doing something. The game ended when you, once you entered the spider maze. Beating it only gets you more spider maze. That's what it feels like, yeah. There's permanent hallucinations of golden eels, though, which is kind of cool. I'm not sure what I did to unlock those. I'm guessing it was something to do with the uh, blue bow. Is this the other side of the kelp? It might be. Okay, let's try the strat. You're supposed to stun the kelp and quickly dart past. Just like that. No, oh, kind of works, actually, apparently. I don't know how consistent that is, but... Oh, wait, there's another one. Well, I don't have any more rocks, so I guess I die now. Uh, no. Oh, I found a spear, actually. That's cool. Um, maybe if I do the slide strat, you know? I can, I can really fucking nail this guy. Oh, I got him. That was a good one. How long does he say stun for? Who knows? Just long enough. I think that was actually necessary for my survival there. Dude, look at how many hallucinatory catfish I'm getting. That's sick. There's no more spider maze. Now it's just like... You must pass the kelp. Will you pass the kelp, or will you die? Uh, yeah, it's everywhere. <laughs> Every screen transition is now you have to fight the kelp. Cool. I didn't mean to do that. Is there more kelp? Yes! Nothing but kelp. Nothing but kelp now. Okay. Okay, I'll fight this kelp. Uh, where was it? There it is. Okay, there's a kelp there. Fuck off, kelp. Ah! Oh my god, another shelter. Oh, what? There was another kelp. I didn't even see that one. Wait, why is there a kelp within reach of the shelter entrance? That doesn't seem like a good idea. Hmm. How do I get back there? Oh, there's a flower growing from the dead slug cat. Look at that. Got my anti kelp ordinance here. Um, gonna go fight some kelp maybe today. That's how I'm kind of feeling actually. You ever just wake up and feel like fighting kelp? Oh, look, kelp. I'm fighting it now. Look at me go. Uh, I died. I had a feeling that wasn't remotely consistent. <laughs> Like, that, that's not gonna work every time, just because you throw the rock at the kelp, it, it's gonna let you win. Oh wait, there was a rock. I want that. If you throw yourself at it enough times, it'll work. That's kind of what I'm worried about. That's when I, I sort of stop enjoying this game is when I feel like it's, um, like a lottery ticket simulator, where it's just like, well, if you, you know, try the inconsistent thing enough times, it'll it'll work somehow, right? Okay. The slide. The spear didn't even hit the kelp. Whoa -ho -ho. 
Yeah, it feels so fucking sketchy. Like the, the movement in the water is very random, kind of. There's very little RNG. There's no RNG, it's what I mean is like, um, it's it's sort of chaos. Like even if it's deterministic, it's uh, the movement is so physics-y and hard to predict sometimes. Like that's what makes the difference between dying and not. Like I can see it over there. Let me up. Go, 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 go. Uh, uh, see, that was like a fucking frame perfect dodge there. It was one pixel from my ass. Uh, okay, where's the next kelp? There, it's right there. They both missed. They both fucking missed. God damn it. Uh, it's neither RNG nor entropy. It's it's exactly what I said. It's chaos. That's how you do it. Yeah, if you, that's actually how you do the bunny hopping to uh, preserve speed. You have to do a turn around and then bunny hop for some reason. It's just how it works. It would be easier if you could actually see the kelp that you were trying to hit. It would be easier, I think. Where'd it go? Uh, no, that is not entropy. That's just, uh, well, entropy is pretty complex to define by itself. It's it's both a thermodynamic principle and uh, an information theory thing that are kind of related. It's, it's kind of related to chaos and randomness, but it's not exactly the same. Um, just YOLO it. It didn't work. Try again. <laughs> You hate the look of the kelp, it's so creepy. I also dislike kelp. But of course, going to any beach on the west coast is sort of just like a kelp simulator experience. Everything's just covered in kelp. Okay, someone said feed the kelp. I can try that, but also, where is the kelp? Is the camera scrolling? Oh my fucking god. Oh, it doesn't seem to want these. They just bounce off. They're carnivorous. I don't see too many, uh... Small animals to throw at the kelp, though. Oh, the next guy in chat says, no, they're omnivorous. All right. You want this? What about this? I'm out of blue seeds. I don't know. It's a small chance that works. No. <laughs>
to hit it. Okay, if you're like right underneath it and then you hit it, that sort of gives you enough time to escape, it seems like. I need the spear. The way the, the water is rendered, it makes you look like you're covered in tentacles as soon as you go underneath. It's very unsettling. You see that, right? It's like a 20 jellyfish already have grabbed me. Okay. Uh, I need to see the kelp to fight the kelp. Please. Yes. Please don't unstun as soon as I pass over. Oh my god. Uh -huh. Not even gonna fuck with that karma flower there. Who needs it? Okay, where's the next kelp? Show yourself. There it is. <laughs> Have they been here before? I, I think I went a different way the first time. I'm just back in the spider zone now. Oh wait, no, that's literally... That, that was the kelp from before. The fucking kelp that I was blocked by. So great. My reward once again is back. You're back in spider hell. Cool. Okay, so it was a different path, clearly. Um, does a rock generate on this side of the kelp? One rock, okay. Uh, uh, just pray, just hope, just hope. Okay, it worked somehow. Good, good, good. Maybe there is a left kelp up here. Yeah, there's a kelp over there. Um, wait, I come up with a different rock each time, but I don't get any more rocks. How does that work? I'd like more than one rock if possible. There, I got two. Okay. Uh, there's the kelp. Very hard to see kelp, actually. Oh, it's from the ceiling. That's why I didn't... Uh, this is bad. What do I do about the one on the left? I, I can't throw upward, as far as I know. Um, oy, 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 oy. How do you get that one? You don't recommend that shelter. Oh no, shit. How do you even get out of that shelter? Help. Get out here. Throat, throat, throat. Oh my god. I have no idea when it allows you to throw at the kelp again. That time it just sort of got me before I could throw, I think. But you can't see when it gets you. You can't really see shit. You're just sort of running. Okay, 
Okay, there it is. Closer this time. Uh, what? What happened? I have no idea what happened. Take that. Bro. Okay, somehow that worked. There's the spear. Uh, yeah, I don't like the look of this one. Okay, that's a reliable way to get it done. I swear I had a spear for a second there. Sometimes the particle effects trick me into thinking I have a spear. Okay, well there's one rock. I might as well eat the flower, I've picked it. Okay, this, this way now. Uh, there is a kelp there somewhere. Where's the kelp? There's the kelp. Okay, go, 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 go. Wait, I need a spear to... No, I can go underneath, it looks like. That's good. I know now that this game will soft lock you for not having a spear, so... That's... Thought's never going to leave my mind. Uh, oh, okay, that's not a ledge. So the, that's all just background stuff. There's, there's nowhere to go to. Probably do that without a spear. Maybe. Maybe if, if I pounce? No. Okay. Underneath, sure. Just go underneath. Actually, there's a million spears there. They're probably meant to use them. Come on, I feel like that's possible. There it is. Spear. Ah, oh, fuck. God damn it. Okay, uh, I need the third spear. There's lots of spears in this room, at least. That was the rock. What? How did I fall off then? There we go. Oh no, why is it so fucking hard to just grab onto the spear if you jump? Okay, okay. Somehow progress. Somehow progress in some direction. Can I go in there? Yes. There is a shelter. I don't have any food. Hmm. I hope there's food up here.
lots of spears for some reason. No sign of food though. Those look bad. Uh, do I have to go up there? This is the crypts, apparently. Um, dude, I don't see any food. Do you see any food up here? Where's the food? You can hear them coming from a quite a distance. Um, uh, but okay. I've pissed it off. Cool. What is it doing? these fucking things. Why are they like that? flashbangs at them. I don't know if that'll help though. None of this is really advancing my goals here. I just want to hibernate in that shelter. Oh, I thought I could get that. Is there another shelter back there? Seems like there's nowhere else to go. I'm assuming if they gave me those flashbangs and they have some use against the, the scissor birds or whatever the fuck they are. Lock tower monsters. Not much time left before the rain, so I'm gonna die either way. What if I go to the, the left? Seems like a cool idea. Ooh. Up. Oh. oh, that doesn't help at all. <laughs> Where do I respawn? Wait, am I back in the kelp zone again? Oh, for fuck's sake. I forgot about the kelp zone. Fuck off, kelp. Oh, the kelp zone. Oh, eat before leaving. I don't know what there is to eat around here. Yeah, 
The only real food in this area is the orange moss, I think. There might have been some back here. Um, let's try the tech. Yeah, I it keeps it going a bit faster, maybe. That's nowhere. No, I don't know where I'd get food in here. Unless you can eat the kelp, I don't know. Maybe I'll try it, but instead of it grabbing me next time, I'll just grab the kelp. That's how you win, right? That'll work. Yay! I don't know exactly how I did it, but it somehow I bypassed the kelp. Okay, cool. Someone says there is food in the kelp area. Uh, okay. There probably is. Somewhere. I took the spear back out. Wait. Do I get to keep the spear now? I guess I, I do. Well, if I starve myself, I'll survive the rain, but that's not going to actually give me the save point. There was a kelp this way, right? I think there was a kelp. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Go underneath. Uh, I have no idea what here you could possibly eat. Oh, this is the big empty deceptive room. There's nothing actually in here. Uh, oh, actually, no. You... I don't even remember this room. You gotta do that. Is that not high enough? I think it's high enough. was a bit smoother than the first time I tried. Can I eat these? No. Hmm. Someone said throw them in water. Let's try that. Oh. Ah, oh, that's how you do it. Okay. I'm surprised I didn't encounter that naturally. Like, I've been carrying around those blue things to fight the kelp. Uh, it 
It's not enough though, is it? No, not enough. Unless there's more of those somewhere, I'm still fucked. Rain's coming. Uh, how do I... force hibernate if there's no floor? I have to hold down. I can't hold down in this room. have to wait. <laughs> That's a very silly oversight. Alright, we waiting. What do you mean, can you do up and down? Yes. Yes, you can. Starving. Game has not been saved. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. Am I like a paler? Sh well, not not a paler. I guess a darker shade of white. I don't know how you describe it. Wait, did that actually increment my karma though? Even if it didn't save, it still gave me karma. That's fucking weird. I have no idea how I'm gonna get like seven food points. Uh, might as well just throw myself back at the uh, the horror bird zone. I'm, st I'm like, <laughs> I'm not allowed to move sometimes because I'm starving to death. That's that's the mechanic. Okay, cool. He gets tired. Oh. No, slug cat. You have to go and be eaten by the scissor birds. You can't starve to death in this hole. <laughs> you have so much more to do this cycle. Oh my god. He's useless. He sucks. Um. Jesus Christ. But this is, this is like in, um, does anyone watch the Joel's uh, Signal Simulator streams? The, that game where you're just like in the woods and monitoring satellite dishes and there's aliens and shit? It's the same mechanics. If you get to like really low hunger on that game, your character randomly just keels over and ragdolls. And it's really comical. I don't think I can even do the wall jump. 
this is this is fucked. I feel like that's what's happening. It's just like randomly turning my controls off or something. There we go. Oh my god. This is gonna go great. Uh, I, I can't even fully tell what has changed, but something has definitely changed. Eyes closed means tired. Ah. Uh. Please. Alright. Uh, the rain's gonna come again before too long at this rate. Um. Ounce. There we go. My reward is this fresh hell. Very cool. There was some streamer I remember watching play Elden Ring, like a, a, a smaller channel. And every time he'd get to a new area, that would be his reaction would just be a, what fresh hell is this? But uh, that's like. In, in Elden Ring, you can fight the enemies, right? In, in this game, it really is the, the fresh hell simulator. Everywhere is just some new, interesting nightmare. Uh, let's see what the flashbang does. Oh, it did something. Fuck off. Get the fuck out of here, you. Okay, oh, there was another one. I'm not starving again. I, that the plan from the start was to go up here and just die. Well, now I know the strat though is that you can eat the little funny seeds. So somehow, well, this, okay, this is easier said than done, because there's like a fucking kelp there. Hello, sir. Um, can I just dunk my seeds in the water? <laughs> okay, can you just, like, hang on for a sec? There we- oh! The kelp takes them, though. Okay, well, I got one. That's two. Is the kelp? No, the kelp comes back pretty quickly, actually. Okay, well, back to the normal strategy of, uh, fucking murdering the kelp. <laughs> Oh, shit, I wasted the spear. Oh, well. <laughs> Sharon is caring even if the kelp doesn't care. It's very true. Okay, so you want to get close to the kelp. And then you gotta throw the spear at the kelp. That's how it works. Um, I think you can only throw from the surface of the water. That's kind of the, the difficulty. If you're too busy, like, splashing down 
and being immersed in the water, you can't actually defend yourself against the kelp anymore. Uh, there's no more nuts over here, right? No. But I just, I barely saw that one actually. Almost walked into it. Alright. Eight kelp. Eight rain world. Eight water levels. room. I forget what those, uh, the bubble nuts were, whatever they're called. There were more of them somewhere around here. That was a rock. <laughs> there we go. No fruits, simple as. Simple as indeed. Too high. Nope. Okay. The room can be pretty fast if you don't fuck it up. There's the nuts. Is that a third one, actually? I hope that's the third one. Nom, nom, nom. Uh, I think it's just a rock, actually. Never mind. Okay, shelter time. Now I can have unrestricted access to the land of the horror birds. The skug is struggling. It's a shame to watch. Here we go. Horror bird. No more kelp until I have to go back to the kelp ending. There's going to be looks to the kelp. The green version of the blue, uh, blue bow. <laughs> he just lives in the kelp. And if you harm any kelp, through the whole game. He's permanently aggroed and will kill you on sight with a laser beam. Spider hell, kelp hell, bird hell. That's the progression. You gotta watch out for the pipeline. be a pretty cool subversion to have an area in this game that wasn't that type of hell. Leech hell, yep, yeah, that one too. That one was pretty hospitable in comparison, looking back. Wasn't that bad. I don't think I actually was a different color before, it's just this area has a weird uh, lighting effect. Well, that takes kind of a long time to get back, uh, even from the shelter. There's a lot of platforming there. So it's imperative, in fact, not to die to the birds. Is it not scripted? They both times have come before they all run, they run past in a stampede immediately. Nothing is scripted in the- yeah, yeah, that's true.
Like this time, there's just no birds at all. They're, they're not even here. Maybe I'll pick two of these. It seemed to be effective against the birds. Why not? It's hard to tell what the effect was. It made their eyes turn funny colors, which I'm assuming means that they were blinded, but... Okay, this time they're just not spawning in, so that makes it easier. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, they were all over here, apparently. That's why. Um... Oh, they can get you in the pipe. Oh, they can do that. All right. Cool. That was a lot of birds. Quite a trek back up each time. As I said, I've got the the run back. Okay, now they spawn right away. Oh no no no! Can you get into the pipe? Go away. <laughs> I can just like take infinite pot shots at them, it seems like. <laughs> I'm being cheeky. Why do they move like such fucking weirdos? They're just birds, right? I mean, birds are kind of weirdos, but... These guys are extra weird, you know? They, yeah, they're firefly mimics. Wait, what? Oh, I speared it with the spear. Well, that doesn't help me very much. Oh, it's still here. Interesting. There we go. I'm dual wielding now. Okay, uh, as I found out last time, you're not safe there. <laughs> Just waiting to pick my opportunity. Yeah. Do they ever come to this side? They seem to just... They keep going to the left, but none of them ever actually come out on the other side. the pipe locomotion sometimes. Uh, I can go... No, I can't go in there. That's that's a lie. It's amazing how you're even able to perceive some of these little holes in the ground. They're so ambiguous. But it usually does work somehow. Oh my god. 
gun. It's weird. It makes weird noises. Uh, are they made of metal? Like, some of them make sparks on the ground, but not consistently. He's not going anywhere. I wonder how long the flashbang lasts. I should try it. Seemed effective. I still don't know exactly how long it lasts, but it works in a pinch. There's more. Some have yellow eyes, some have orange eyes. Is there a difference, I wonder? That's not a real pipe. Can't go in there. Uh-oh. Piss off. Oh, this is bad. I really could use a hole to hide in right now. Ooh! You missed me. There's nowhere to hide. I'm exposed. Go in here. Yeah, there you go. Okay, that was lucky. There we go. Uh, how long does this go on for is sort of the question I'm asking now. Does it ever end? Very common question I find myself asking in this game. When do I win? How's it been going? asks Toby. Uh, the usual. It's it's been going rain worldly. Is this backtracking? I can't. Yeah, it is. Okay, I didn't realize that was there. That was a big old waste of time. This seems like relative safety down here. Oh, there's a funny bug. Uh, maybe it's evil. Maybe it's okay. I don't know. Wait, is there one down here? Where the fuck is it? Are they above and the audio is being weird? It sounds like it's really close. I feel like maybe I can eat that bug, but also it might be poisonous and kill me instantly. it ever ends. We're, we're back in the spider hell. This is the rest of the game now. The bugs don't seem that dangerous, at least. Uh, not too long until the rain comes back. Getting a bit worried. What is, oh, there's a hole there. Do I need a spear to progress? I hope not. That would suck. Oh, I think I need a fucking spear. God damn it. Uh, it's a big waste of time. Is there a spear in here? Get out of here. 
It's so janky. Oh wait, okay, there's another way to the top. This looks like powerful lore here. That's a monk sign with a circle, wanderer sign, J, a funny box. Uh, I don't recognize the rest. Is there a spear anywhere? Oh, it's a gate. Nice. It doesn't require any karma to pass. What's the meaning of this? I don't have any food though, shit. This always happens. There's uh, no shelter anyway, so does it, does it matter that I don't have any food? Who knows? This place looks unique. Oh, there's the shelter. Oh. Uh, the leg. This is the leg. Cool. Uh, is it the leg of a giant mechanical being who is the whole world like in Bionicle maybe? Oh, there's some food. Gotta get the food. I can make it. Uh, I don't have that much time before I die from the rain, uh, I think. It's a bit worrying. But that's just enough. Perfect. Get in there. Nice. It would have been extremely evil if you needed a three or four karma. It would, actually, because where the fuck do you get food up there? That's the only gate I've seen with no requirement. Doing crypts in one attempt? What do you mean? In that was like my fifth attempt, I think. Still the flashbang as a souvenir, that's cool. My first attempt from the shelter? No, there was like three of them from the shelter. Um, um, the other times I died much more quickly though. So most of it was my first attempt, I guess. Like, most of the actual distance I covered. Okay, um, I'm assuming I don't want to go down there. Oh, there's a pole. That's the trick. I'm doing some leg climbing today. This seems like one of those uh, vertical platformy type areas. You know, they tend to have them in games. Yeah, that's a good point. If I fall down the leg far enough, maybe I'll find the foot. And the stream will get age restricted or something. Uh, I, I hope there's a reason to go back to Bluebow eventually. That would be great. I miss Bluebow. <laughs> There's like a little pole, but oh, I see it. Uh, I see it to the to the right. There's a little path. Fuck this game really makes you a uh, pixel hunt for some of those progression paths. Um, wait. Uh, ooh. We got the music though. Hell yeah. Oh, that's how you do it. There was a pole there. An invisible ass pole. I think the poles are actually too fucking hard to see sometimes. That's one of my legitimate complaints with the game is that like, you can't tell what the poles are. Oh, I forgot the thing about you can, you can mash jump to go faster there. It did tell me that, then I forgot before I ever tried it. Shit. 
wait lizard for fuck's sake man swear to god the spear went over its fucking head are you kidding uh okay maybe i blinded it with the flashbang it didn't seem to be aggressive there for a while uh there's lots of green shit this is the green shit zone i guess cool <laughs> That, that's pretty comedic, I gotta admit. I really thought I could make that. I'm assuming down there is also another death pit, um, by the look of it. I'm gonna find out at this rate. That was a misclick. How do I get onto that post? Why is it so hard? What do I do? What the fuck? Well, we confirmed that it's a death pit. That's very good to know. I, I felt like I was actually soft locked on that pole. There probably was some way to get back up, but it was like extremely difficult. Okay, so you want to climb up this wall. Um, I think is the idea. Is there? An... Yeah, there's the pole. God damn, they're hard to see. Big progress. Uh, yeah, the invisible pole is the trick to progress here. There it is. Okay, uh, you go into here. That's a lot of speed you get from, uh, from pressing jump. Only seems to work occasionally though. Where was that white lizard? Oh, there it is. No, it's, it's on the opposite side, that's fine. I duped it. It didn't matter. Oh my god. Okay, uh, it, it just pulled me down. It didn't eat me. It just sort of reset my progress a little bit. Okay, sure. Troll lizard. An intentional pipe boost? Apparently so. I did feel like I went pretty darn fast through one of those pipes for no apparent reason. Okay, we're back in the green shit zone. Don't miss the jump, Lamau. Don't miss the jump. Uh, I missed the jump. Unfortunate. So, okay, it occurs to me now there is just a pole. I could just be aiming for the pole and not the actual platform. It'd probably be easier to do that. Okay, let's go. Let's go. How do I put this down real gently? Ooh. 
It's pretty delicate. Okay. Uh, it's this jump sucks, by the way. That one, it feels like some of the jinkier Celeste jumps you have to do. You need just the right amount of height. Spear down. There we go. It seems like you can only get the boost sometimes. Why do we, you, you go so fast occasionally, but most of the time you press space and nothing really much happens? Okay, the lizard is somewhere around here, I think. But where the... I don't see it. You know, if it doesn't want to show up, it doesn't have to. It's fine with me. Green zone. Just leap. Just hold up, Lamau. Perfect. Uh, I don't like my odds here. Yeah, that seemed optimistic. Maybe he's a cr Oh, that's a mimic. Oh my god, it didn't get me. It took a while to fucking kick in there. Get out of here. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, where do I climb up then? Oh, I see it. The hole's on the middle one. a hold up. So much of this game is just parsing the visual information. Like, it's actually very hard to see. And it's it works kind of because it's so slow-paced. If this was like a, you know, something you had to, like, react to quickly, though, it would be a nightmare. Uh, I'm in some sort of mechanical art, it looks like. Some biomechanical Evangelion shit in here. Kind of worrying. Uh, what are these things, by the way? What is that? Are they alive? I think there's some sort of weird worm. Cool. They don't seem to do anything. I got it. Can I eat it? No. That's not what I meant to do. I can't throw it, interestingly enough. Oh, what? How do they do that? It's clearly supposed to be like a hook shot, right? But how do they make it do that? Oh, it's a double jump! <laughs> uh, It's very unclear what it does, though. Like, it doesn't have very much, uh... force behind it.
What strange creatures. Is that a pole? Fake pole. Pole mimic. Don't be fooled. Where am I? There, okay. That's a real pole though. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure where to go. Use worm. I, I don't, the worm doesn't seem to help that much. Like, it doesn't really have enough strength to uh, pull you up in a lot of cases. Wait, how do you use this fucking thing? It, it can't reel you in, but it can kind of, like, you can swing from it a bit. I'm not sure how best to actually employ that, though. Like, where does it even aim? It just goes straight up. How do you make this do anything? <laughs> oh, I did something? It didn't help though. This is absurd. That's the weirdest transition. Just up here? Was the trick to ignore that completely? Let me off. Uh, I don't, it doesn't actually bring you any higher. It seemed completely useless. That, oh, just go through the, the wall hole. Well, that doesn't help. No, the wall hole doesn't take you any higher. Just spam. If you spam jump, it just immediately disengages. What? Somehow it worked. What? I can't express how hard this is to control. It probably looks hard to control, but like... There's only one button that, that activates this thing. There's only one button. Uh, swing. Swing on it. That doesn't help. I, I did it once. What the fuck did I do? Okay, it really doesn't help that any time the slug cat touches the ground, it seems, it goes into a crouching state and then you can't jump again. I think that's because I'm holding the slug for some reason? It's impossible. How do you do it? This is a single jump. I've, I've done, like, speedrun glitches that are easier than this fucking slug. This feels like I'm trying to do Queen's Garden Acid Skip. What the fuck? How does it aim?
that that doesn't work. This room only has three poles in it, right? Over three or there, there's two poles that go up high, and I don't know how to transfer myself between any of them currently. Uh, I don't know how to reliably circumvent the little knobs on them. And it's gonna rain. Okay, that was actually no progress at all. Huh. The rain is looking kind of funny in here. It's a uh, it's a green and not rain. What's going on? Something killed me. Let's see how efficiently I can climb the lake. Uh, it, was, it was over here. That's right. The lizard, it ate my flashbang. A me. Alright, I think I can sort of just avoid it. Maybe. Narrowly. Okay. Oh, it's coming. I didn't realize it would follow me through here. How far? Ooh! Okay. I'm surprised at how reliably you can actually avoid those. Well, maybe not reliably, but how possible it is to avoid those. Nope. I, how the fuck did I do that? This is ridiculous. I'm waiting for it to come through. <laughs> there we go. Oh, hi there. Great. So that time there were two white lizards. Okay. 
Okay, try again. Uh-oh. Outsen says test. What you testing, Outsen? Oh, you can just do this? Oh, well, that's easier. Okay. Chat broke for a sec? Huh. Oh. Uh, I'll try to refresh it. Oh yeah, I guess I didn't see chat progress very quickly for a while there, but I thought that was just, I don't know, <laughs> declining viewership, rising exasperation with my leg climbing. It's surprising that there's, the stream has like way fewer viewers than the previous one, which like, it, it's, it's pretty a, a kind of a normal number of viewers for this channel, it's just like, I wonder what changed. Like, the first time was also a Rain World stream. Uh, maybe everyone who came the first time realized how shit Rain World was. It just occurred to them that it was a garbage game and there was no reason to watch it. That must be it. Okay. Who knows where the other lizard is this time? Probably nowhere, hopefully nowhere. It stopped existing. It's not easy to watch. Yeah, I guess it isn't. You get such a big boost sometimes. What does it? What is that? Oh, there's where the other lizard is, eh? Oh, yeah. There's two lizards. You know, this area was hard enough without the lizards, actually. It's a stalemate. Um, the, the, the slug cat actually has, like, rocket boosters. Wait, it's copyright deadlock. Neither one can monetize the video. Uh, this is cool. Uh, I wonder what breaks the stalemate. Maybe a little dance in the meantime. I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm alive. All good. All good. Wait, did I just quit the game? How did I do that? Try again. This time no lizards, maybe, hopefully. I feel like if the lizards show up, you're just fucked. If there's two lizards on that screen, like, I have no idea what you're supposed to do. Because they, they got, like, a ranged attack. They can just snipe you from wherever you, whatever you're doing. You're trying to do, like, precision platforming, and there's two lizards that are just sniping you <laughs> and pulling you down. Hit them with the shit. Well, there's not much shit, I gotta say. There's not just kind of a not a whole lot of shit to hit them with. Oh, 
is over here. Why did it aggro immediately this time? Wait. The fucking... The little... Flashbang. God damn it. Is the boost after you turn a corner? Maybe? I can't really tell. That's the only new uh, info I'm getting between these runs at this point. It's just like... It optimizing the pipe movement slowly and then like hoping the lizard doesn't spawn. The, the movement I've pretty much gotten down pat. Spear. That's good to have. Wonder what's making the green shit, you know? You gotta wonder sometimes what's making the green shit. Okay, yeah, no lizards this time. <laughs> oh wait, no, there's one. He's probably not gonna look at me though. He's just in his own world. Which one of these is the mimic? I didn't need that spear anyway. Oh, the mimic is down below. Never mind. It looks like I'm in the clear kind, uh, although... Who knows how long I'll get stuck on that room again. I guess I... No, I, I know how to get past that room. I won't get stuck there again. It's probably safe. Just... The trick is actually to ignore the slugs, because they only exist to waste your time and troll new players. Uh, it's just one of those rain world things you gotta know about. The troll slugs. the grapple worm. That guy grappled me. Excuse me. Can you let go? I'm trying to... This guy's fucking nuts. He's aggro. Background poles, dude. Wait, is this the one that I got stuck on before? Or is this a different room? I think it's a previous- Okay, that fucking background pulse! I just go right. Okay, I, I can't even go up here. Yeah, this is the room. Okay. The slug kind of helps there. Okay. It's completely unclear what the slug's going to aim at, is the, is the fundamental problem with the grappling slug. Uh, there is no aim. It just sort of seems to aim at whatever it wants, 
like there's probably some vague algorithm that determines like it's something above you, but the, there's no set angle that the actual grappling hook moves toward. It's like an auto aim thing, but it doesn't tell you what it's going to auto aim to. Okay, where's the other pull? There's another pole there. Where is it? There. actually can't see the poles. This is really bad. Like, is there a pole to the left or is there not? I can't see. That's a pole. You can't make that jump. How did I do this the first time? I've so I solved this room. Wait, it is there. It's just the very bottom of the screen. Oh, God damn it. If I can just get up there somehow, that's all the problem solved, but. So it's like, there. That's how you do it. Uh, I'm getting like eye strain from looking at this. I'm squinting so hard to see these poles. Okay, here we go. Oh fuck, okay, that's, that's not it. Maybe it is. Wait, no, don't, don't leave. I, I, I won't. Ah. Okay, bye. Whatever. I think you do need the worm to get across there. Getting rid of the worm is its own challenge sometimes, apparently. Okay, you get on that pole. Oh. That's a bonk. Lie down, go left, go up. And somehow you gotta use the worm. You just gotta. You just gotta use the worm. That's how it works. Okay. Oh my god. That, that, oh my god, I almost fell down again. I think that room is like the most miserable experience in the game so far. The jankiest weirdo platforming imaginable. Um, I have to swing across like I, I fell into the room again. God damn it.
Somehow it worked. Okay. Wait, no, 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 no. How the fuck did I... I'm fine. Okay. Oh my god. Let me out. Uh, I don't have any karma, I'm pretty sure. Okay, get rid of the fucking slug. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Oh, what a nightmare. How pog indeed. <laughs> okay, it's gonna make my hands greasy and I'm gonna have to go wash them, but like I'm, I have to eat my, my sandwich now. I need food. Okay, be back in a sec. Okay, we're going back. Um, did you hear the burger? I was looking at the uh, the mic readout in OBS and I wasn't really seeing anything coming through, but maybe you could hear some of me eating the uh, the sandwich. 
I just forgot to mute the microphone. It's not a burger, it's a, it's a pulled pork sandwich. A cold pulled pork sandwich by now, but... Uh, Alright, we're back in the fucking leg again. Oh, these are the firecrackers. I know these things. Um, okay, so I could farm some karma here if I wanted. Oh, there's a lizard. The lizard just went into my shelter. Why is that allowed? Fuck off. Coming back. Okay. Not sure how to progress exactly. I guess I guess here. that is a nightmare kraken holographic nightmare kraken just up there very cool oh okay it's moving over here now blue moss yeah it's, that's edible probably looks edible very true yeah that's um it's a Personification of a blueberry, you know, it's the Toho character. Try and eat it. It would look, uh, it, it does look pretty tasty, yeah. Please? Okay. I guess you just, <laughs> the trick to that guy is you wait till he's on the side of the room that you don't have to use, and then you're golden. That's the final stage of the kelp life cycle. Only if they don't take too much like brain damage from the uh, having rocks thrown at my slug cat as a child, you know. I okay. Just don't touch. No. No. Go away. Go away. Please go away. Uh oh. This seems hazardous. How hasn't it killed me yet? Wait, what do I do here? I need a spear for this? Or is there another way? Kinda oh, oh, there's the spear. Providence. Please. Okay. Get up. You know, when it works, it works. Okay, give me the worm. Chat, be quiet. The blueberry will hear you. Blueberigmos. Hopefully I won't actually need to use the worm. They only give you the worm so that you'll never need to use it. I have enough food. Oh, the blueberry comes through. No, okay. I forget how to pounce whenever I actually need to. Oh, there's another blueberry lad up here. Okay. Let's see, is that a, a real pole? It was, okay. Um, this one's sort of taken up the whole room by the look of it. Maybe not this one hole on the right. This could work. This is Blue Bow's revenge. 
This is the full body of Bluebo. Like, they were stuck to that little mechanical thing in the wall. Maybe, uh, that, that connects to all the blueberry monsters through a, a psychic nexus. There's a shelter there, by the way. Very clutch. Is there singing in the distance? What is that? It could be howling wind, but it kind of sounds like singing. Oh, there's a thing up, you see, the, to the left? There's a menacing little thing. I bet that kills you somehow if you go near, near to it. What is that? It must be the wind. Oh, I thought that was me being killed by some sort of predator, but it was just the worm to play. <laughs> I can sleep with the worm in the little shelter box. That's nice. It's just a sandbox item? It looks different. It looks like not, not that, but maybe it is. Oh, there's the worm. Okay. Time to see if it kills me. Oh no, it is one of those things. It just, they look strange when they're not projecting their uh, polygonal force field. Oh, wait, I got the uh, the grapple worm for the battle royale mode. Nice. Um, so there's nothing to the right, it looks like. Uh, it seemed like there was some more stuff back to the left. Uh-oh. Rim saved me. Grapple Rim is the meta in Rain World Memorial. <laughs> Uh-oh. That almost went badly, but it worked out. Delicious. At what point is it worth doing the, the turnaround strat? It only seems to work when you don't want it to, interestingly. Interesting property of a mechanic. You can only do it by accident. Okay, the blueberry lad has moved on, which is just what I needed. Oh, no, there he is. Uh, excuse me. Don't worry about me. Just hide. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm not sure how it exactly it kills you, but it looks like it probably could. bad. It looks like it's got the fucking uh, zombie snail fungus. It's not encouraging. Oh, it killed itself. Nice. I'm assuming that's the special property of these lizards, is that they just uh, throw themselves off the cliff. I enjoyed that. There's a white lizard down there. Yeah. Great. 
I can spear it. Except it's it's never going to come through the pipe. Hello there. <laughs> well, I also died, but it, it was worth it. Um, I thought those might have been poles I could grab, but they were in fact background poles. than the first time I did that. Okay. Weed boost. It actually makes it kind of hard to bunny hop with the worm, because if you do it too early, it just shoots the tongue out. Whatever part of the worm's anatomy the thing actually is. Tongue seems right, but I don't think tongues usually come out both sides of something's body. the lad. Okay. Oh, this is the underhang. We're no longer in the leg. Have I played Ultra Kill? Uh, yeah, a fair bit. I'm not super good at it. Uh, where does the ground stop here? You really can't. That's scary as fuck, dude. Where, where does the ground end in that instance? I don't see the lizard here. It's probably somewhere around. This is the mecha balls. Sounds good. Uh, well, that's gonna put me in the lizard's uh, mouth. Oh, but I swamp with it. All is well. Uh, does the blue thing eat the lizard, maybe? Probably. Uh oh, that's bad. I hope these, uh, metal cylinders dangling from poles serve, like, an important function to the machinery here, because they have a fucking lot. The whole thing actually runs on, uh, just gravity power. There's just a bunch of weights on strings that gradually fall and power the, uh, complex. <laughs> That's how it works. They've been slowly sliding downward for, uh, 300 years. Ooh. Hi there. Uh, how am I getting out of this one? Oh, by throwing myself into a death pit. Ah, classic. that I'm going to eat the worm by accident one of these times. It's probably possible, right? Uh, the area does feel endgamey, but I don't know what end of the game it is, you know? <laughs> I just, I wandered as far as I could in a direction and now I'm here, but there could be like 10 other alternate areas that are also theoretically endgamey. 
That's kind of the vibe I get. Uh, uh oh, no thanks. Oh, they can get ya. No. Woo! The worm saved me somehow. Oh, that was a bad open mess. Uh, oh. He's going down. Yep, that's cool, bro. You go down there. I'm not sure how that worked. Like, don't don't ask me. Fucking worm. Let go. being grappled. It's coming back. Uh, I don't know how to make it let go, or even how to drop the worm I'm holding. Like, nothing seems to work. Uh, can I just grab this one? There we go, new worm. Holy shit, that took a while. It's still grappled. The only way to drop a grapple worm, it seems, is to hold down and press the grab button, which is unusual. I think that's unique to the grapple worms. That's how you drop it. Usually you can throw it. The normal way is you just, like, press the throw button, but that doesn't work for the worm. removed throwing the worms because people would throw them accidentally, but... Oh, shit. That was a bad missed input. Um, what was I gonna say? Y you don't need to press the throw button to swim with the worms, though. It it's all the jump button. I wonder how that works. first version of the game it was the throw button. That would probably be better actually in some ways. I feel like it's having it bound to the jump button is pretty awkward. Maybe they changed it because it was even more awkward the other way for some reason. I don't know. I... Okay, this fucking guy, I swear. Sometimes. You let go. No. No. Okay. Yeah, you just left. It's a little known fact. That guy can't actually get you if you just... Uh, if you just use the worm. He just pretends to be able to kill you.
Well, that was the first thing I tried to do to, to use the worm was to press the throw button, and when it didn't work, I was like, I guess I can't use the worm. <laughs> then it took a while longer to uh, figure out that it was the the double jump. both go through at the exact same time. Yes. <laughs> they were synced up. I would have been fucked if they'd spaced themselves out slightly more. Okay, don't fall off the- oh! what do I, Why is this so fucking hard to get off this pipe without killing myself? There we go. Uh, there's like a blueberry lad, right? Over here. What, what's over here? Oh, there he is. Okay, this takes you up there. And this puts you in the tunnel. This drops you into the void where you die. Where's the blue lad going? He's just on a mission. Move to the left. Where's the orange lizard gone? Who knows? There. There's the orange lizard. Um. Okay. Up or down? I guess I'm going down. I feel like trying up. No, I'm going down. Oh no. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Okay. Wait, the lizard's coming back. Uh, okay, now what? I can get to that pole, but... Oh, I can, I can climb up through the other pole. I get it. Maybe I can actually just make it. Oh, look at that. That was a big one. You don't salt the slug. Why is it called a skug, by the way? That seems like a weird um, portmanteau of slug cat. But I, I've heard that term quite a bit, skug. Okay. Bye bye. Oh no. What now? Where do I go? Wait, no, not that way. Uh... Wait, wait, no, but, oh, fuck. The blue guy was on the other side. I was like, surely that means you can make it or something. Okay. This is quite a long segment. Uh, that's every segment, though. Every segment is quite long. segment is just pure improv up there though. It's kind of nuts. How do I get back up there? It's, it, this isn't hard. Rabbit? What am I holding? 
Another fruit. Idiot. Okay, shit. I have enough to get four anyway. It doesn't really matter. Maybe they are, honestly. The, the blueberry monsters are just those fruits, but they've, they've fully matured. <laughs> yeah, there's gonna be a max karma gate at the end with no shelter nearby. Sweet. This is the real end game. Rain World treats you like an adult. Oh, I forgot that you can touch those. Hated me. <laughs> so that's what they do. Well, it's good to know. Kind of just like poked the tentacle for no reason. Probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> nah, the bunny hopping is hard with the worm. <laughs> it is pretty fast though, man. Trying to be too fancy with the worms uh, working to my detriment here. Uh, he's really guarding that exit. I gotta wait. What? The screen scrolled. Oh man. Um, go up, please. Please, please go up. Got stuck like upside down or something there. I don't know what happened. recommend the camera scroll mod. A lot of people seem to recommend the camera scroll mod. Maybe I should have it. I don't know. It feels kind of weird to install mods on a game that you've never played. It's like Dark Souls 1 is the only exception I can think of where it's like you basically install the mods to be able to play the game. Camera scrolling is extremely fucking weird in this game, though. Um, creates a lot of jank. Uh, ooh. Okay. Sometimes it just works. Literally any Bethesda game? I played Skyrim Vanilla. It, on release, you could play it vanilla. I, I mean, like, Dark Souls 1 on PC. On release, you needed quality of life mods to play the game. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Not like I need my 4K Skyrim uh, sex mods. Otherwise, it's not worth playing. Uh, he's just gyrating over there. He's... The spear had no effect. He made a noise, though. That was cool. Uh, sure. I'm just gonna leave. Something's gone terribly wrong with this guy's AI or something, I don't know. Uh, I don't like the look of it. Go on top. Yep. He's building up velocity to reach QPU speed, yeah. coming. Oh. 
unfortunately the lizard can't see the world from like a cross-sectional extra-dimensional standpoint thus giving me the advantage oh I can make that never mind there was a pull oh no 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 since when is there a white lizard here every every single time they just get you with like oh you thought you were gonna make progress how about white lizards are part of the game now He's not even going to follow me because it's a white lizard. They don't do anything. He's, he's going to camp the screen transition, but I can't fight back. Uh, where is it? Does anyone see the white lizard? I don't see it. Is that a spear? Yeah. Oh, okay, it's down there. Perfect. You know what? That works for me. It is super invisible down there. There's, there's literally no indication it's there anymore. I'm pretty sure all they do is take the average of all the colors in the background, but uh... There's a red lizard there, isn't there? This new one's kind of green, actually. Maybe it's a green bow and not blue bow projecting those. The, the heretofore unseen character green bow. You recommend going up there? Oh, wait, there was an alternate path, wasn't there? Well. Uh, I can go back for it, maybe, but I'm sort of committed to this direction of travel now. Uh... Oh. I'm gonna wait. These guys are a lot fucking stupider in this cycle. I still got a while before the rain comes. All right, he's moved on. Good. Um, so how do I wait? No, 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 no! Don't, don't just like come back. What is he doing? The one little tentacle comes back. Get out of here. Okay, so I can't make that jump clearly. That was my mistake the first time. You don't just jump for it there. Uh, where does this go? What the fuck? I'm in some sort of sphere. Maybe I do want to go up, because, like, I'm not sure where to even go from here. I have to get past the, the blueberry monster again, though. Okay, well, now it's camping this side. Slug, I can do it. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. That was maybe optimistic. Yeah. Shit. Ah, okay. Hey, I don't know how to progress on that side. the pack again. I almost forgot about this. Very snazzy, very cool. Whoop! 
<laughs> that was kind of cool, actually. I didn't really mean to do it, but it was cool. Is there a tentacle through the pipe here? I don't like that. Can you pull that out? Thanks. Wait, something's grappled me from the screen below. That's inconvenient. Uh, what is that? I'm stuck. What is going on? Uh, I, is this a glitch? No, there's a worm stuck in there. You just can't see it. Okay, so I press down to drop that worm, get the new worm. Um, and now I'm free? Oh my god, that was weird as fuck. That's the whole game. It's the succession of like what's happening right now. Here, there's the spear. Hmm. It's a little while to get around this area. do that pretty consistently, I think. Okay, where's the fucking blueberry lad here? Oh, I could have just gone up there the whole time. I remember struggling with that jump for some reason. Okay, whoa, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, don't come out there. It worked out somehow. This is the spinning blueberry uh, thingamajig. This one in particular likes to spin. No one really knows why. Yep. Hey, okay. I guess that worked. Here's the part where you choose whether to go up or not. Oh, he's coming through. Nope. I get to bypass it. Hey. Right, there's the up. I missed that when I was here last, that you can just go up here. Okay, we got food. That's nice. Uh, wait, no, I don't want to drop that one. Spears at the bottom of the hole, that's fine. Uh, that takes you to the funny mushrooms. I don't really want the mushrooms. Insane to see the skill improvement. Yeah, the trick is to use the worm for the thing that you're meant to use the worm for, not like... I just didn't understand how to progress in that room, and I thought the worm was somehow the only way to do it. But it just... that wasn't really an intended use of the worm at all. There's a, a drawing. Shelter down. So they, they knew I wouldn't have Iggy anymore, and so they drew a picture? I wonder why there's a drawing in that one spot. There it is. Nice. Will there be a worm in Ram? I don't know.
that one of the DLC slug cats did the drawing. Huh. Hmm. Huh. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> that was a bad time to practice the dash. Said that I'm gonna practice the dash somewhere. That was good. I got one chain. Um, that doesn't seem right. Am I stuck? Okay, this is kind of non-trivial to uh, to get out of here, I guess. here. Anything? Do I need to use the spear? That'll work. But I, I can't imagine it's necessary. Karma farm is real. So much food up here. Nutty. Nutty amount of food. Uh, no, I want that. What is going on up here anyway? Like this is a very large area. Have I been here? I don't think so. That like red, the red little block there wasn't a thing before. Oh, this is the other side of that chasm. That green bow was beckoning me toward. Uh, I I'm reading chat occasionally. I'm just not really taking that much advice on where to go. Uh, was that the, sh the other side of where the shelter was? Was. Okay, I'm over here. That puts me here. Uh, so there's not really branching paths even here. It seems to all lead back to the same place. Woo! You can wind it around objects? 
I'm I'm severely impressed by the physics in that case. I don't even know how you do that. Oh, Greenbow wants me to go up there. All right, Greenbow. Yeah, the rope physics for the worm are crazy. As soon as I saw it, like, actually conform to that polygon, I was like, what the fuck? That's black magic. Having rope physics in general is impressive, but, like... That kind of thing is nitty. Uh, oh wait, no. Greenbow, which direction do you actually want me to go in? Do you have an opinion on this matter? The, I could have gone this way, too, is the thing. Each time it hits a ledge, it splits the line at the contact point. Yeah, that would work, I guess. Yeah, I guess if you're not modeling, like, slack or tension in the individual segments, it's, it's probably not that bad, but... I don't know. It, it doesn't take a lot of physics to impress me, honestly. Because I think about, um, I've tried to program enough physics myself that I'm aware of like how hard it is, but not necessarily experienced enough to know how you do it, so it just seems kind of magical. Oh, this is cool. There's a gate. Uh-oh. <laughs> how much karma does it need? That's max karma. Oh no. Uh, well that's okay. This is actually pretty close to the shelter. And there's lots of food here. So this is going to be a weird grind, but it should be doable. There's no popcorn bush though. That would make it a lot easier. Actually, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna be ambitious and bring a root back with me. Because this is just right across the way, basically from where the shelter is, down here. Okay. Oh yeah, I could use the... The passage is an interesting idea. I feel like the passage is classic too good to use syndrome. Like, I don't know when, if ever, I'll get another one of those. And like, I'll have to get back to maybe the industrial quarter at some point. Go back to see Bluebo. I'll want that fast travel. I think. Um, I'm just looking onto a sea of lights. Let's get that one part in Berserk. You know, the the bonfire of dreams. I'm getting the energy. Yeah, that's definitely what's happening. Very cool. Okay. We're gonna pull the, the yeek strat here. Alright, that was enough. I'm sleepy again.
I got a maximum karma thing to show up. That gave me a saint point. Maybe that is the Alex Yeek path? Eating and sleeping. That's that's the life of a saint. Let's go and not die. Oh, the spear stays stuck in there. That's actually incredibly useful. I'm not sure why this one is permanent, but... Um, unless that is the intended way to escape here, and they descripted it like that, who knows. Okay, first I should check if there was food back... Uh-oh. It's safe to slide all the way down, but... Okay, it's fine. I was gonna say, I wanted to check if there was food back the way I came, because that's very convenient if so. I don't remember right now. Hmm. Maybe not. What's up here, actually? Oh, that's a lizard. I thought it was the moss, but it's it's not. That is a lizard. Oh, there is moss. Nice. Nom, nom, nom. There's a lot of it, too, huh? Somehow I got it. <laughs> That's like a, a new and innovative way of eating. Head banging. Alright, that was very fruitful. Very mossful, even. Maybe it's. Someone said it was like a slime mold. It does look like a slime mold, kinda. I don't know what a slime mold tastes like, but it's probably alright. Ah, uh, shit. Shit. Wait, I kept... I forgot what button it was I wanted to press. Um... Okay, well that spear's not coming back. Ooh, the lizard! Okay. Let's go. There's ten more spears, it's fine. Okay, this... the karma farming isn't taking long at all. Mm, good, lots of saint points. What if you max one out? Do you become a saint in the real life? Do you unlock the DLC character in the DLC that I don't have? Pipe boost. Very optimal. I do really like the ambiance of this area, though. The uh, the constant shaking and thunderstorms and shit. It's it, it's very cool. I also tend to like. I think I said this during the Elden Ring streams. I tend to be a sucker for the uh, the high altitude levels in games. Anytime you're like dangling off of the side of something, I really enjoy that. I think there was more food through here. You got a slug coin if you max it a branch. Foggers. Slug con what? Is 
The funny mushrooms actually were full hunger, or they just to give you Yeah. Whoa. I I don't think I like the mushroom very much. It fucks with your uh, sense of timing. Oh, I have enough. I should just go back, probably. Oh, never mind. Actually, this is how you do it. If I bring a mold with me. Um, and can also max out my hunger here. I can go through the gate and then have a spare. Um, I'll be able to immediately use a shelter, is what I mean. Ooh, that was some lag. Interesting. I haven't seen the game lag before. Maybe it's an effect of that mushroom even, who knows. Here we go. Crawling back into my hovel with my slime mold. All is well. I feel like for roleplay you have to uh, crouch down in those. You can't hibernate standing up, right? Yet more saint points. Huh. So if I, if I kept doing this, I probably would actually reach the top of that. Now I just have to uh, get up there without dying. I don't remember any like significant obstacles in the way besides that one lizard, so hopefully it should be all right. Actually, I don't like that position. In Wait, the spear is gone. They took the spear away. They're trolling me. Wait, how do I? Without a spear, how do I do that? I, I don't have another spear. That's a bit of a fuckler's trick, in it. Um, maybe I have to use the slug? Uh, I don't like this. Oh my god, that doesn't seem like it should have been possible. Uh, yikes. Spears last a fixed number of cycles. Huh. Strange. Uh oh. That's inopportune. I, I haven't really checked if these guys can climb on walls or what. I haven't paid enough attention. Oh, that's a spear. Shit. I was really feeling that one. extra moss. As long as I have four, I'm good. And there's a collectible up there. Actually... These fucking worms. Why is he so active now? Usually they, they barely do anything. Come back here. I like it when the lighting turns red and there's like the weird characters everywhere. It makes me feel like I'm going somewhere that's like plot relevant, you know? I'm taking the worm with me into the sauna. I hope it I hope it's okay. <laughs> That's not how it usually works. 
That just put me into the smoke chamber. That wasn't the sauna at all. Uh, where the fuck is this? This is like the Geiger zone. This is Redbow's palace? <laughs> I have no idea who the fuck said blue bow or what that means. It was just really funny. I like that nomenclature. Now the worst area. Every area is the worst area in this game. Don't worry about it. It's like that the, you know, there are two wolves inside of you. Both wolves are gay. You are gay, but it's... There are 700 areas in Rain World. Every area is the worst area. The game is terrible. Yet more saint points. I'm almost a saint. Don't worry though, I'm gonna pivot at the last second and choose Grinch, because it's funnier. You frolicking around. It sounds like you actually don't like the game. No, I, I, I'm exaggerating. It does seem like most of the areas this stream have been pretty fucking painful, though. This one's not so bad, honestly. But the the spider hell zone, with, like you don't even get anything. That's that's the weird part. Is like you go through this big challenging area, there's no gravity in this room. Um, and then you don't actually, there's, there's no point to it. Like, you achieve nothing. That's not the most pleasant. Uh, okay, this is interesting. Very cool. Wait, holding up. Do I need to hold down if I'm moving up? How does this work? You hold up to get the pipe. You hold up to get the pipe. You hold down. Oh, that's confusing as fuck. You have to hold up to grab that one. Slugcat's been moving into the upper atmosphere this whole time. I guess so. I'm like at the edge of space on the Terraria map. Uh, are there enemies here is the question? Like flying space enemies? Just, uh, can I just maybe... It, the, the physics are still backward. You move in the direction that you, you throw the object instead of the reverse. There's a spear up there. Actually, the worm is probably very useful here, isn't it? Uh, what is that? We've got a cool color scheme in here. It's like sort of a an alternate take on the hyperlight drifter thing, you know? And a lot of spears. They were really big on spears in this part of the facility. We. Oh, does the worm no longer work, actually? Yeah, you're right. The worm doesn't do anything anymore. Uh, what is that? There's a, a thing. Do I, do I abandon the worm? <laughs> Maybe I'll just leave the worm over here. Uh, oh no, it still works when when uh, I'm not touching it. 
Uh oh. I can't uh, move. Oh, that looks bad. Uh, I'd rather go back this way. Ooh, oh, wait. That looks like one of those things. I'm not gonna eat that. that that's that's Greenbow's uh, bug. I'm not gonna eat that. Someone said to take the worm, but uh, I couldn't make the worm do anything. I'm leaving the worm. Uh, I can't figure out how to how to use it. We uh, these things look like they kill you. Maybe there's like little tentacles and shit. Maybe not the best. I don't know. Can I? Uh, like. Eh. Oh no no no. Okay, grab that. Grab that. Jump. Very good. Womp. Uh oh. Welcome to the the Eva unit. I haven't been killed by rain in a while. That's a sign that the area is real good. What if I hit one of those with a spear? Would that have the same effect as eating it? I.e. Be, be bad. That would be bad to do. Oh, there's a blueberry fucker down there. Are you serious? Wait, no. I wanted to pick up the, the one object, not release the one I was already carrying. Uh... Okay. It's a little bit tricky to uh, move in here. It seemed before like I could kind of stick myself to the walls a bit better, but... Oh, there we go. How the hell does rain get you up here? Well, last time it happened, it just all... Everything turned green, and I died. Are those laser beams or just lighting effects? I, they're just lighting. Okay, they look kind of like they would kill you. Uh, is it okay to go out here? Wait, that, I want the pole. Shit. dum de dum It's um, an interesting movement system you sort of get here. Yeah, you grab a pole by holding the opposite direction from it. It's, it's very consistent. Oh! Thank you, Rain World. Oh god. Okay, let, let the worm just kind of <laughs> chill out here, I guess. again there it is it I dropped them shit is it because I was holding down I don't know Please pick it up. All right. There you go. The exit is there. That's fine. 
Oh, you can jump diagonally. That that's quite useful, actually. Wait, if I can jump off this wall a bit. Uh, uh oh. That sucked. Why does that release it? Just pressing the, the grab button has never dropped items before. Please go toward the hole. There we go. go. Uh, this was the weird sort of agility course. I'm assuming it's those like anemone looking things that actually kill you. Well, I almost got the rebound on that. That was close. Oh, yeah, this, this area isn't actually as hard to navigate as I assumed, but uh, the blueberry fucker will make it difficult, I guess. Wait, no, 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 that's not fair. Don't do that. Is he gonna go away? He's just falling asleep, great. go. Almost. There we are. Uh, that's not the best. Come on. Oh, that's not what I wanted. This is going to get rapidly frustrating. Wait, not not the uh, the slug. Put that down. This is gonna take a fucking while. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that works. Uh, it's gonna take a while to get used to the movement.
What's to the right here? Who knows? What would the lizard do in zero G? That's a good question. Will we fall down cliffs less? Hmm. It's quite a large, quite a large map. What is that noise? Look, I just want to find a green bow and blue bow and red bow and shit. Like, what is this? There's nowhere to go here. What about here? Oh, you can kind of go down here. Oh, it's the exact same as the other way. Five Pebbles, Unfortunate Development. It's like a fucking light novel title. I know Five Pebbles is a dude. He, he's one of the the blue bow type dudes. Um, I'm, I'm not sure about the unfortunate development. Uh, okay, he's just reaching right in here. I'd rather not. These blueberry monsters are kind of overpowered in zero gravity. I don't think I like them very much. to hold like back to catch the pull and then forward to bounce off it. You can't just hold forward and, and try to jump directly off the pull. Uh, I'm in some sort of weird digital womb here. Uh, oh, the, there is no rain anymore here. I just realized that's why the, there hasn't been any rain deaths is because there's literally the rain pips are just maxed out. There was some random screen shake though. This is just a dead end. There's nothing here. Eh. Distant screen shake is a good way to make a game feel uh, immediately dramatic, though. <laughs> Creates a lot of intrigue. Oh, is that the unfortunate development? Did the gravity come back? Oh! The gravity's gonna turn... it fluctuates? Oh! Wait, that's like blueberry material up, up there. That's scary. Okay, make sure not to eat any of these. Uh, he's coming. Oh wait, it's like low gravity. There is still gravity, but it's just low? They're everywhere, dude. What do you do about that? Wait, I meant to hold up. I meant to hold up. I didn't mean to fall into the blueberry patch. I, I was holding up and I threw them both to the left. Is that because gravity was on and I can't throw up when gravity's on? Fuck's sake, man. This time the music is activated. <laughs> the 
This is an uh, intelligent house, I believe, is what the genre is called. It's kind of like if Aphex Twin was good. <laughs> I've actually never listened to an Aphex Twin song in my life. I just. I'm assuming that would will piss off someone just through the law of large numbers. I want that, I want that. You kinda kinda do the diagonal bounce off the ceiling, then you grab the pipe, then you're... You, you, you... Okay, never mind. You try to bounce upward off the pipe, but then you go diagonally for some reason, and it's very confusing for everyone. Um, you can't throw diagonally. That's an important point. You can't do that. Oh, that works, that works, okay. Well, obviously I want to go back to the unfortunate development. That seemed like a great time. Uh, I have a map for this, right? Yeah, it was, it was here. Then you go up. There's no blueberry monster down here. Kinda wasn't. It was one of those circle things. There was another one of those kinda recently. Um, can I go inside it? Oh, I can. Nice. Uh, no, no, the blueberry monster is inside it also. He let go of me. Uh, yeah, you don't get a lot of recourse against those guys in zero gravity. Wait, is there a wall there? That's a wall, apparently. I can't see what the wall actually is supposed to be, but there is a wall. Uh, I don't like that. Maybe I can climb up and out of it? No. Ah. Uh, here we go. That's progress, maybe. Don't touch the blueberry patch. I don't want to do it. <laughs> the blue bows have taken over Red Bow's palace. Just like incorrectly summarizing the game. Stop! A blue bow has fallen into the river in Redbow City. <laughs> blue bow's of revenge. Da -da 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 Oh no, it's here! Okay, when it's green, the gravity's off. When it's red, the gravity's on. Gotta remember that. And this is Rain World 2. Uh, Enter the Dragon, Blue Bow's Rage. I can't tell if the blueberry monster's movement changes at all when the gravity turns on and off. Okay. Uh, okay, so I can't go to the right because there's the blueberry patch. Actually, if I wait for gravity to go off, then I go to the right, and then I throw upward twice, I should be okay. There we go. That was unwise. Uh, I now have no control over my fate. I sure hope he doesn't reach inside that. Uh-oh. I'm fine. Yeah, this area sucks. Oh well. 
It depends how long the segment is. If there's like 10 more rooms like this <laughs> before there's a shelter, this is not looking great for, uh, for anyone. Because it's sort of just random chance to an extent whether these blueberry fuckers come and eat me. I really get that sense. Uh, I picked a bad time to jump, clearly. Okay, relative safety. That's not safe. Bad, 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 bad. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. Fuck me. Move. Why did the spear fall back down? Grab something. Holy shit. Okay. Yep, that's fine. Oh, wait. No. Yes, grab that. Yikes. Oh, no, 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 no. I can't. Um. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. It seems doable. I didn't wish. I wish the fucking. The run back wasn't an hour long. There's an alt route? Now this seems fun. This is great. They should let you have two spears in space just for fun. Why not have two spears really? It's very unclear what sometimes what direction to hold to grab these poles. I almost wish they just gave you a separate grab the pole button. Okay, easy room that time. Very efficient, very clean. And then you go up, and you go through the little hole. Uh, I don't think it's left or right, or up or down. It really seems like if you're going upward toward a pole, and you're holding up, you won't grab it. You have to hold down. You have to hold the direction opposite how you're moving to grab the pole. It's actually kind of skill testing under pressure. Okay, now how to get through this part is its own little challenge. Because you can go down here. There is a blueberry monster, but he's not here today. That's okay, that's great. Um, so you just go down and that takes you to the top of the room. And then you're fine, basically, I think. There we go. This is not the right way. I want that. <laughs> I love how the slugs the whole time it's just got a cinder block in each hand, waddling along with great determination. I wonder if it's possible to kill the blueberry fuckers. Probably possible. Kinda. Can I go down? 
Not really. Also, holding the cinder blocks prevents you from accidentally eating any of the little bug creatures. Oh, you can just climb on that. I think I knew that before, right? Um, you know, he's in the way. Okay, it seems like these ones don't move by themselves, maybe? Uh-oh. Okay, so you have to climb up that. You gotta wait for the gravity to turn itself off. I think you jump to the right, you throw, maybe... Upward? Wait, oh, that takes a while to turn back on. That's quite a pain, actually. Um, I didn't mean to aggro that dude. I think I just hit him by accident there. You're, you're pretty fucking exposed, though. Like, when you're just out on the pole. There's not a whole lot you can do in this situation. Uh, like, in this particular situation. Very bad. No, not, not a huge fan of that. Um, oh, there's a tentacle right across the screen transition. Very cool. Oh. Oh. Uh, I'm just going to go for it. We nailed it. I don't have any more objects. Alright, I'm going up. I don't know where, where to. Uh, okay, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Um, I don't I gotta wait. I have to wait for the next cycle. Uh, okay, just stay there and spin. Don't you dare fucking do anything else. I swear to God. I'm going up. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Wait, no, 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 no. I don't want that. Uh, what do I do about this? How do I... Um, can I touch those? They're everywhere. There's literally no way to go past without touching them a little bit. Grabable? Grab it. I can grab those. Alright. Uh, oh no, you can't touch that part. You can't touch that part of the fucking blueberry patch. Yeah, touch the walls. section has horror game vibes the whole game is a horror game it's not scary but it is i feel like it's maybe too um i guess tedious is a bit of a unfavorable way to put it stuff stops being scary after it becomes repetitive and this is by its nature a very repetitive game so i don't think it really can be that scary it's maybe stressful but not scary. Why are we in the gravity zone? Why not? Because this is the area after the previous area that I moved through. That's why. Yeah, it's, in this case, it's not even really habituating to the spooks. So, like, the game was never actually scary. The, the death seemed, like, almost comical, if anything. Everything was just so matter-of-fact.
I know the route, though, at least. It seems like death would be scarier in a game where it was actually avoidable. <laughs> I know you, the people will try to convince you that deaths are uh, avoidable in Rain World, but um, I'm, I'm not completely convinced currently. Sometimes they're avoidable. Oh, it's up here. Here it is. Actually, you gotta be holding the pole. Otherwise, he can't get the boost in zero gravity. There we go. Um, do I have objects? Oh, I do. Wait, the blueberry guy's blocking the tunnel. How do I get up there if he's blocking the tunnel? Just gotta go for it, I guess. Fuck, if you hold up, then you you stop grabbing the pole, then you can't jump off of it. Oh dear, okay. Next time... Like, how many of the dudes there are down there? You have to wait till the gravity fully turns off, because then pressing up has a different effect than it normally does. Wait, grabbing upward did grab the pole that time, but not that time. It didn't grab that pole, so basically I don't know. Oh, that's you have air control. If if there's no no, if there is gravity, you have air control. But if there's no gravity, you don't. This is the scariest part, because you just gotta wait here and hope they don't come at you. You have nowhere to go. They seem okay. They seem like they're being chill. Perfect. Drink the ADL, don't touch the wall. Can I grab it? Can I grab it? <laughs> Wait, how'd I get down there? God, you just get to that screen and you panic. Uh, I, I still don't fully understand what those vines are or how they work. Don't touch the walls, but they're, they're all walls. <laughs> Every direction is a wall unless you grab the vine uh, up there. It's all crossed. did I do that? Okay, do that. There we go. It only works reliably from that pole, not the other pole. Uh, no, you want to go to the right. That's like a blueberry type thing in the foreground. See that? That's like a a blueberry coated uh, foreground decoration.
Yeah, I don't think I need help. This seems like a fairly straightforward task. It's just do it and don't fuck it up and maybe it'll work. The way through here at least seems uh, comprehensible though. It's actually not very complex to navigate this area. Uh, if the blueberry monster spawns in a favorable position, that is. Otherwise, well, it's less simple. That was fine. Oh, that's not fine. Okay, he didn't spawn in a favorable location. <laughs> the developments are unfortunate. the vibe of uh, Dr. Eggman's speed traps when you, you clip it of bounds in that one Sonic game. <laughs> it's like, oh no, it's Dr. Eggman's trap. It's an unfortunate development. That's why they call the area. See, it's thematic. The so, Omori has bad pacing because it's thematic. I'm disappointed you can't jump uh, parallel to the pole. You don't. You don't really seem to get a boost from that. Oh, I fucked that one up. Hmm. Gonna bounce off the wall there and float up, and it's gonna be a whole thing. Okay. There you go. This isn't even the same way. Wait, I, I took a wrong turn at Albuquerque. Uh, it was this one. The level designer got serious wrist pain <laughs> by the time they designed this level. Is that just like a universal thing? It's like if you develop a game for long enough, you will get wrist pain. I hope not. Uh, I had some wrist pain, but I, I think it was caused by doing garden work because I worked when I did that as a job, so um, since I quit then, I've had much less wrist pain. I think it, it, it wasn't a tendon thing. I did get it looked at. Apparently it was like a sprain of some sort. Uh, but yeah, t tendon problems are pretty scary. They can be kind of hard to get rid of. To my knowledge, anyway, I don't really know that much about tendon problems. Wrist world. <laughs> All right, I think the blueberry guy is here. We got a visual, so he's not going to be up here. Wonderful, you love to see it. See that? The slug cat reached out for the pole, but didn't actually grab it and just slowed down weirdly. I don't fully understand what causes that, but it seems to usually happen if you're holding the same direction you're moving and you cross a pole. What did I do since the end of the last stream? Uh, a lot of stuff. We found blue bow. Uh, I ate one of those. You see these like white glowing bugs. Blue bow had a bunch of those. Um, and I ate one and then they got really pissed off at me. It wouldn't interact with me. Uh, and then I gave her a glowing yellow pearl, which she didn't seem to care about whatsoever. And then I left and then I spent approximately 17 hours escaping the spider caves. Uh, and I kind of forget the rest of it. Mostly it was just that. Uh, okay, that's the cycle gone. Dead cycle. No, grab the pole. There we go. Take some glowing bugs to Bluebo. Does that actually work? As far as I know, that actually works. Who knows? It actually does? How the fuck would you get one there? Can you take them with you if you use a, a passage? 
Or do you just literally have to carry the bug the whole fucking way? You can hold one and use a passage. That's actually quite interesting. Maybe I'll try that. The passage has got to be useful for something, right? Why didn't you grab the pole, Skug? You gotta grab the pole, Skug. There you go. Okay, I think I want to be over here. This room is the real fucking trial, isn't it? They don't passage, says another person in chat. What's going on up there? That's an unfortunate development. Yep. How did this happen? I don't know. How? I don't know. Laugh track and the shit. The, okay, I need to do like a fucking Germa Millennia bit and like put some bullshit on in the background at this rate, yeah. Can I just find like a, a whole episode of Seinfeld and put it on over there? Like, this probably get the stream destroyed by uh, copyright. My channel will be deleted. Marine World themed sitcom. I mean, I've heard from, uh, it was Wonder was saying on the Discord that, like, the, the Rain World Discord server has, like, a million emotes for, like, slug cat shipping. <laughs> Which is hilarious. Um, like, one for every possible pair of colored slug cats to indicate, like, some sort of ship. Shipping with who? Uh, just just the slug cats with each other, like the different DLC slug cats. But yeah, like all of those, um, Blue Bow. The, the only two characters we have so far are uh, Slug Cat and Blue Bow, and maybe Iggy and like Green Iggy. Who knows? Th that's the wrong direction. Fuck. Uh, I want my objects back, though. Come on. I want the pull. Come on. Oh, you can store one in your belly. That's- wait, no, it does, that doesn't work, does it? Like, if you're trying to eat a fruit when you're full, you, you don't do stomach storage. I thought- I thought it just stopped you from eating the fruit. That could be an interesting strat, though. You're pretty sure that works? Maybe it would. It'd be worth a try. It, it would be difficult, though. Because I don't want to fill up on the other thingies, because I- it seems that eating those is bad in general. I have to fill up on something else and then eat it. But not actually eat it, you know? seems to be in an alright position. Clear to proceed. Alright. You're saying red bow has plenty? I don't I don't know if I trust that. Like it seems like eating them is just not a very good idea. I don't know. of finicky to get up here. Oh, wait, they're not even red bows. They're like RG, R, RG bows, you know? And not from Argentina, like RGB bow. 
they're just changing colors. is like low down which may actually be good like if it stays down here that means it's not up ahead can I uh, go over his tentacle is that ambitious it worked <laughs> look at me oh no there's some way to do that. I've done it before. I've just forgotten, maybe. I closed the game again by accident. Great. What the fuck? What just happened? I hit the passage by accident? Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, this is a new interface. Uh, I'm not leaving. Five pebbles. <laughs> well, I got max karma now. So as long as I don't die anymore, I'll have gotten value from that. You get another one? Eh? That is going to make it difficult to bring the bugs back to Blue Bow to compete, complete their... Uh, C complete their quest line is what I mean to say. Can you grab the pole? Can you grab the pole, Skug? There we go. Uh, there. Oh my god. It's not very generous with like grabbing the ends of poles. You have to be quite accurate, actually. Oh, somehow I sniped it. What a strange mechanic, by the way. Just the way the way it's contextualized. I was like, what even was that? There were some lizards and a glyph popped up that said the survivor, and then... Uh, I was brought to a, a, a menu... Maybe that's if you max out one of the, um, the little, uh, arch archetype paths. If you max out your saintliness, you get a passage. That might be how it works. How does Bluebo survive? How does anything else survive the rain? That's the question. Uh-oh. Grab that. Better grab that. There you go. It's the blue bow force field. See, this is an unfavorable spawn. You see what I mean here? It's it's just really bad. Here we go. An unfortunate development. This is development hell, you might say. <laughs> From leech hell to spider hell to kelp hell to development hell. Do I have another object? I dropped it. Fuck. I want something to carry around. Is that a thing? Oh, I see a thing. Okay, this is kind of sketchy. The 
There's probably more things up ahead. No, the uh, the walls aren't blue bows. A blue bow was uh, a character previously. He's probably called Lux to the Moon. The the blueberry things are their own the, their own deal. Probably unrelated to blue bow. Max Karma. Surely with Max Karma I can do it first try. That's how it works. Just go up. Eee, okay. Oh, that that's how you do it. That's how you do it. I remember now. You jump from over here. I, I tried to jump from above last time. That never works. You gotta jump from here and then grab that horizontal pole. Like that. Redirect momentum. Accidentally aggro the blueberry creature. He comes and eats you. Uh, stop it. Stop. Uh, we're at a stalemate, it seems. Neither of us can move. Wait, I'm kind of getting away. Oh, I let go. Nice. Uh, no, stop, please. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Am I getting away? Oh my god, I escaped that. I didn't think you could escape. Somehow it just worked. Uh, there's a tentacle just permanently there now. That's cool. Let's restart the room. There was a lot of spacebar mashing. I was like trying to... It's like how you climb mountains in Skyrim. It was that same kind of input. Just mash the spacebar. Okay, well that's difficult. Uh, that's going to be difficult to get past, actually, though. Kind of hard to get past that. Throw the rock to make it move. Daddy, make it move. I keep accidentally hitting them with rocks and pissing them off. I think that's part of the problem here. Yeah, I'm hiding in there. Um, okay, this is where I want to be, but the other blue fucker might be right above me. And there's not much I can do in that case. Let's go. I do have a rock. Oh my god, I just saved myself with the rock, I think. Very clutch. Okay, so the room above me is like the the fucking don't touch the walls panic gauntlet. I don't have any rocks to throw. I'm just gonna have to hope for the best. I can't be any further right than I am already. Just have to go up the middle and hope. Grab anything. It's like a <laughs> night in the woods. At the end of unfortunate developments, hold on to anything. That's what the slogan was, right? So these are just floppy poles. I, I've cracked the code. They are just reskinned poles with weird physics, probably. Oh, 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 I'm doing it. <laughs> it's working. Is that a rock? It's probably not a rock. No, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Come on, gravity. Turn off right now. SHIT YOURSELF NOW! Go. 
There's more. There's more. I didn't grab that first fucking vine for no reason and it scared the shit out of me. The pipe is right there. The <laughs> slug cat's just doing the fucking Queen Merica the Eternal pose for fun. Oh, this looks even... This is bad too. This also sucks. Are there rocks in here? I don't see any rocks. Okay, grab the pole. Stay grabbing the pole. Uh, I think if I blast myself straight upward, I can just grab that other pole up there. Should be straightforward. How do I grab it? How do I grab... <laughs> you just let me out. All right. That's the power of determination. Jesus Christ. I just, I realized as soon as I did that, I have no idea what the input is to grab a pole from that particular angle. And uh, I just didn't. Okay, shelter. I don't have any food. Um, okay, maybe this is time to eat the fucking bugs, because I'm not doing that again. Uh... Well, there, there aren't even any bugs here. Yeah, there's no food in there. There's no food in here. There's a fucking black hole up there. What the fuck is that? I'm not going in there. They're all the same. They're all just like death traps. There's a save point. I can't use the save point unless I get another piece of food. Now there's there's no more bugs even. The, the moral choice bugs are even gone. Left does seem the safest. Um, I don't know if the gravity here oscillates or not. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, some of these look hostile, and others look not hostile. Uh, how the fuck do I get a clean jump off of this thing, though? It's just wobbling everywhere. Ay -ay 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 -ay. There we go. There we go. Touch the ground. I don't know what horrors await down this corridor here. I still don't know if these things kill you. They don't seem to. The what thing is like the little the blue hairs coming out of the walls. We Bunch of blue dots over here. Uh, what's that? What's that thing? Don't worry about it. Is it not hostile? It's probably harmless. That's not red bow. You don't understand. Not 
let's just uh, not touch that, if possible. I think there's a way to not touch it. Maybe. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, I guess it's fine. Yep, that's all good. <laughs> just there. I'm gonna drift into one of these rooms and just fly into a blueberry monster. It could happen. There's no way to know that it won't. It, it's not gonna happen. Um. Wait, haven't I been here? Is this the alternate route you were talking about? There's bugs in here. I have to eat one. There, there's no other sort of option available here. Either eat one of these or I never save the game again. I hope... Okay, if I eat this fucking thing, this better not just, like, break the whole fucking game, ruin the ending. Surely just one. Surely just one is okay, right? You know what? Let's just, uh... Hedge our bets here. If I make it back without dying, then I can decide whether or not to eat the bug. Uh, I already ate one. I didn't eat any of, of this one. Uh, I'm assuming there's a like red bow here, right? Don't touch it. Yep, it's fine. installs a virus on your PC. Alright, don't touch those. And you're good, okay. It's time to eat the RGB bug. Gotta do it. I get it. It's a sleeping pole, cool. I really didn't lose any more karma. <laughs> the passage really did cinch it, you know? I just had to use the passage. I still have to reach the end of the area still. I kind of forgot about that. There's the fucking black hole chamber up ahead. I'm not really that keen to experiment with the black hole zone. And the ground here is okay, right? Looks okay. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, rather easy to die in this room. Uh, I thought there was a pole there, but I think it was something else. I thought there was a vertical pole that didn't exist.
Great, there's just a vine up there. That's all I had to do is grab the vine. Oh, I see. When, when the gravity turns on, the um, the gamer RGB lighting strips turn gray and look like poles, kind of. Easy mistake to make. Zweep. Oh, it just takes you back to the black hole room, for fuck's sake. Great. Oh, the black hole turns off when the uh, the gravity goes on. Oh dear. That's bad. Uh, where do I go? Oh, that's, that's a whole ass blueberry guy down there. I thought that was just part of the environment. I... Oh, no, 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 no. Go. <laughs> just bonked into it. All right. Uh, avoid unfortunate developments, if I, but I've already been through that. Isn't that just the area that I just completed? This is fine. What is that col colorful little pixel on the wall down there? What is that? Oh, it makes a cool black hole noise when it turns on. Uh-oh. Oh, it doesn't just kill you uh, immediately. It's kind of unclear what it does, actually. Maybe it's just like a sort of sucks you, sucks you in a bit. That's a pull, surely. Yes, it was. Um, nice. Uh, the black hole room really wasn't all that bad. I have to say. Oh, the black hole is what creates the zero gravity. Oh, oh, so it's not the gravity turning on, it's the anti-gravity turning off. I guess that makes sense. Most of the area does have gravity. Get it? Yeah. Plop. Uh, actually, I probably want to keep holding that. Kind of a funky looking sort of modernist background here. Oh, that's a perfect shot. Straight up. Look at that. Uh, Lamau said the game. No. Okay. It's not that far to get back. <laughs> Wait, it's faster just to go down here, I think. That wasn't even a bad, bad spawn, it was just like, kind of... appeared there. It, or no, not appeared, like, it reached its tentacle all the way up and just kind of... grabbed me. No, 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 no. <laughs> Some very strong biceps on the that slug cat. Extremely strong biceps. How much force can it really be putting behind those tentacles? They're very flimsy looking. Um, okay, how do I... I shouldn't have let go. Oh, there's a spear there. 
Go. Stunned it slightly. Why do I never fucking hit the thing? Oh, I get eaten by the wall instead. Uh, blueberries have let me go before for mysterious reasons. Maybe going up is better. I mean, this room's not even that hard to uh, traverse overall. I wonder if I can just kind of... Oh, you, you can just do that. <laughs> I'm not sure why I went the long way. Can I just... Whoop! I really thought I could do that. Oh, well. It's fine. This is fine. Come on. I did it somehow. Okay, this room. This room wasn't too bad until the blueberry just decided to eat my ass. You really can't just climb those vines. I'm like holding onto my climbing rope right now. All right, the perfect shot. That was not a perfect shot. I have to correct it somehow. I, I, every single time I throw a random object, I end up hitting a blueberry in the face and pissing it off. Ooh, I want the collectible though. Can I have that? Actually, I changed my mind. I don't want the collectible. I'm never going to use it. I don't know what they're for. Just let me out. I just need the perfect diagonal shot straight in there. To unlock the blueberries in the arena mode? Why would you want that? Oh, no. Wait, okay. I, it just keeps going. All right. You thought the game was finitely long. Ha 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 ha. You fool. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. What the fuck? Somehow that, that worked out in my favor. There's two exits. Which one am I even going for here? Uh, no, 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 no. These are very hard to control. Wait, can I just walk to that? Huh. What is that? Five Pebbles Memory Conflex. So this is like subsections of the Five Pebbles mega area. The gravity is like stable here, it seems. Memory Conflex. There was a memory crypt earlier. Are they related? Stabilize. Diagonal. Yes, the perfect line, the double. Nailed it. Uh, this looks like the same room? It's probably not. Uh, it's, it's not. I think they're just a bunch of very similar rooms. Okay. The diagonal's sort of my bread and butter at this point. 
There we go. Oh, almost had it. Wait. There it is. Oh, okay, this this is a cool room. I'm fucking glowing in here. They put on the HDR bloom. Uh I don't even know if any of that's dangerous, but there's like there's like a whole ass axon in there. There's like little white spiders. What even are those? Right. Please grab it. Please grab it. There we go. We. The zero gravity is kind of chill when there's not uh, the blueberry creatures to eat you. I don't mind it. Um, I'm pretty sure at least one of these things can kill you somehow, even if just by accident. How many of these rooms are there? Look at this shit. Uh oh. Apparently those were physically simulated objects on the same layer as myself. Oops. Oh wait, no, they're coming back. It's all good. It's all good. They fixed itself. That's incredibly loud though, holy shit. Ooh, oh, I'm drifting toward that. I didn't even, I didn't even mean to. Yep, 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 I'm not going to throw a spear at that. That seems like a bad idea. Don't, 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 fuck. <laughs> shit, I didn't mean to. This seems, this seems like the inside of something's brain right here. I'm just like smashing it up. Got lots of uh, neuron imagery. Um, hello? Why does this room have the uh, fucking cyberspace filter over it? Why is it like that? This area just goes on forever. Oh my god. Central system bus. break any of these uh, fucking dendrites in here though. Um, can I just wiggle myself toward it a little bit? Somehow, yeah. Oh, it gets worse. Fight to uh, be in the space. I think you can like air swim kind of a little bit. 
You're just a little bit, you can swim. Out of nowhere, there's just gonna be a blueberry that, that eats me. I know it. Uh, do I fight Gygus at some point? It'd be fun to fight Gygus, I think. Oh. There he is. Hello. Uh, I don't, I don't need these. What's up? Oh, he talks. Throw a rock at him. I have two pebbles. You are five pebbles. I am two pebbles. Oh, he's speaking Korean or something. Um, uh, the the, um, the big font doesn't help, actually. That's kind of... It's closer? It's better? Oh, 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 oh. You can do a flip. Cool, hey? Oh my god, ow. Uh, I... Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I, I know one of those symbols. That That's the uh, Max Karma. I'm a slug cat. Slug cat. Brain. I have one, maybe? Yeah. I think he hit me with like a mind laser or something. Is this reaching you? Hey, give me Neuralink, sweet. <laughs> a little animal on the floor of my chamber. I think I know what you're looking for. You're stuck in a cycle, repeating patterns. You want a way out. Know that this does not make you special. Every living thing shares the same frustration. From the microbes and the processing strata to me, who am. If you excuse me, godlike, you, you, you scrolled the text too fast. The good news is first, in a way, I am what you were searching for. Me and my kind have as our purpose the soul, that very oscillating claustrophobia in the chests of you and countless others. A strange charity. You, the unknowing recipient. I, I can't read this fast, dude. I, I'm. It scrolls automatically. The bad news is that no definitive solution has been found. In every moment, the equipment erodes to a new state of decay. I can help you collectively or individually. I can't even help myself. For you, though, there is another way, the old path. Go to the west, past the far farm arrays, and then down into the earth where the land fissures, as deep as you can reach, where the ancients built their temples and danced their silly rituals. The mark I gave you will let you through. Not that it solves anyone's problems but yours. At the end of our time, none of this will matter, I suppose. But it would be nice if you took the other way out. One free of frolicking in my memory arrays. I missed the last bit. This is the only game in the universe where the text automatically scrolls if you wait too long. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Uh... That's all. You have to go now. Oh, he's kicking me out? I want to bring the pebbles at least. Congrats, I took the hard way. That was a little bit revelatory, I guess. I wish I could have read what he actually was saying, though. Uh, it seemed to be some... Uh, someone mentioned in the last stream, get ready for cyber Buddhism. It appears we've reached the cyber Buddhism 
seems kind of be, you know, the language he was using, very cyber Buddhist, you know. Uh, I chose the hard way uh, by choice or by accident. I didn't know there was a choice. I didn't know there were ways. Um, I didn't know what I was trying to accomplish. Go eat the neurons. <laughs> Should I just fucking gorge myself on the neurons? It's not the end of the game. I, I got the impression that it wasn't the end of the game. He just told me to go west to the farm zone, then go into the earth, and then do something. Um, it wasn't clear why, but he wants me to do that. I'm going. Is it just me, or it, this is not what this place looked like a second ago? Journey to the west, yeah. What if we go back in? No, he's probably gonna be mad. There's a good source of food past here. Okay, cool. I'll find that, then I'll end the stream. I'm feeling like half of my neurons have been eaten, if you know what I mean, by this game. It's given me brain damage. Look, there's more of those blueberries in the background. The fake blueberries. So it's pretty clear that that dude is some sort of- this whole building is just a machine that is that dude. That dude is the output of this entire building, which is some sort of massive Jupiter computer artificial brain. What is that? What am I looking at? It's like some... Why can't I recognize like anything in that picture, but it looks like a picture of something? There's like a human figure with like an arm and stuff. And there's a karma symbol. It's hard to make out what the fuck that's supposed to be. Oh, the gravity is low. You're typing up the dialogue there. The bad news is that there was no definitive solution to be found, and every moment the equipment erodes to a new state of decay. I can't help I can't help you collectively or individually. I can't even help myself. Five pebbles is a reluctant gift to me from long dead benefactors, okay. Okay, they're supposed to solve the oscillating claustrophobia. So are they supposed to be like mechanical monks or, or Buddhas or something? That that solve the the inherent cycle of mortal suffering or, or something, I mean, it's, it's funny how much the, the Buddhism seems to come up in the games that, that I play on stream. So 
so they, they made like a big mechanical Jupiter computer to be enlightened and shit and maybe to bring others to enlightenment that's kind of the point of like a, a Buddha I think or um, Death Sir Cannon? I don't know how I was supposed to intuit that from the conversation. It, it all sounds like sort of the normal, uh, what do you, the, the language of various Buddhist ideas without any specific interpretation that I could attach to it. Um, these pictures are wacky. It's, it's so dark I can barely make it out. There's like vaguely humanoid elements, but I can't, I can't make it any like sense of what it's depicting, or if there's even supposed to be forms there. Chat says it's sex. That's that represents sex. Maybe it's like sex too. Once the aliens have ascended to the point where they like you know. They invent like new types of sex that can't be comprehended by mortals. That's what that's depicting. What are you seeing in there? Th there's the second karma level though. Okay, the third karma level is Another fucking illustration. Okay, th th those are legs. That's a dude. They have weird heads. There's two dudes. They're kneeling next to each other. Uh... It, it feels like I'm looking at one of those like AI images where you you're not supposed to be able to recognize any image in the picture. Something about this is so difficult to look at. Made to be confusing. Oh, the, the, the lighting, it's working. If it's meant to be difficult to see, then it's working. That's a dude. That's like a fat dude in a robe, basically. Reminiscent of depictions of the Buddha himself. But that's only the second highest level of karma. What's the highest? What are those things too? There's like grapes. Oh, those are those are the berries. I think the the blue, not the blueberries, but you know, the blue berries that I eat. There it is. That's the highest level of karma, probably. Uh, he's got two shields. He's Shield Knight. That's Shield Knight. If I become Shovel Knight, do I win the game? I don't know. You interpret that as self-preservation, survival. There's no... Is there a karma symbol on this one? I don't actually see the symbol. Oh, that's not a platform. <laughs> I thought I could jump on that. Uh, Alright, well we got a shelter. That's cool.
This game is a lot like Gollum. <laughs> what the fuck? Gollum breeding pits now! This game hasn't had as much breeding as Gollum, for sure. Except for that one picture, apparently. But I couldn't tell what the fuck it was even supposed to be. All right, mission accomplished. Breeding pits, no! Okay, there they are, that's five pebbles. Careful with the upskirt there. Oh, I, I have camera control actually, it's a bit risque. Um, is he called Five Pebbles? Because the room is filled with well, there's more than five, so I'm, that doesn't really explain it, honestly. So clearly those pearls are something to do with those dudes. Um, they're, they're kind of everywhere. This dude has a million pearls and a million brain thingies. The one blue bow down there had like three brain thingies and no pearls. I gave I gave them one pearl. Uh, and he, uh, I have a, a white pixel over my head which lets me comprehend the language of the gods. So maybe I can go back and talk to Bluebo now. Wait, the karma is different. Why did the symbols change? Have I broken free of the cycle of the Dharma or... Or do I now just understand the language so they look different? The other symbols are still the same. I don't know. I kind of want to keep going, honestly. It's I'm, I'm a bit enthralled at the moment because a bunch of stuff just happened after a whole lot of stuff not happening <laughs> for a long, long time. Uh, is this the one that I already came through? It feels like it's not. I think this is new. It just has a zero karma requirement. Dead again, or is this man watching? <laughs> huh. This seems like a new area. Chat came back. All right. Something weird with YouTube today for some reason. Oh, this is new. There's a fucking city back there. What? Okay, that's a change of pace. Okay, green bow is hypothesized chat. We've seen a sort of greenish uh, version of Iggy. But, but green bow has not like physically appeared yet. The balls again. Who's making on the balls, dude? I wonder what that wall is. Like there's an endless field of smog on top? Is that just a wasteland or is it the top of a reservoir or is it something else? A very large amount of chocolate icing? I can get up there if I want. No, I can't. <laughs> it's a very durable spear. out there. Uh, I 
I want to go back and visit Bluebo, but that might take too long. There's a glyph there. That symbol is just permanently changed now. There's still no rain cycles anymore. The fuck is... There's a fucking Ophanim up here. We can feel your presence, little creature. Your attunement has become much closer to ours. Buzz Buzz voice. The bark you received is an unimaginable gift. The struggle, the cycles. It can fade like a morning mist beneath the glory of the sun. We found a way. The game is getting more and more 3D. You're kind of right. <laughs> it's it's not actually changing, but it's uh, it's getting more and more crazy in terms of the visuals. Uh, they found a way to break the cycles. So my goal, I thought my goal at the start was to like find my way back to the slug cat family and get a good meal. And now it's like you have to reach enlightenment from the Dharma. <laughs> You ready to do that, fucking slug cat? Did he reset me? What the fuck was that? That dude just killed me. Big fucking help, Mr. Ophanim Buddha. Where's my pixel gun? Yeah, I want that back. Well, you, you would have given me more karma, but I'm already maxed out. slide. Can't really do the slide on uneven ground it seems. Oh you, you kind of can. Why is it so hard to do the slide? It seems like a very simple input. But it's not. Well thanks a lot the fucking Buddha just giving me, resetting me back to the, the mega city. Oh, you can do a roll of a backflip. What a peculiar input that is. Wait, this is the use case for the, uh, the turnaround bunny hop pet, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's worth it. There's a thing down there. What is that? See the thing, right? There's like two pixels here. Oh, we got it. What is that? What the fuck is that? It glows. A green bow orb? Okay. Handy. Try eating it. That's <laughs> a good idea. <laughs> eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. What the fuck? Is that a flashbang that I've had this whole time? Cool, I've got the flashbang now. Uh, okay, Greenbow wants me to... Oh my god. The wall. The wall! The wall! What's that? I forget the lyrics. Shit. You know the one song. You can't go through it and you can't go past it and something something and uh... This reminds me of the, the cave story area immediately. 
the one with the song that Doctor from Homestuck was based on. You know, that one. Quite remarkable art. I, I always thought about Owl Boys having some of the most elaborate pixel art I've ever seen, but this is kind of rivaling it. The style is different, but it's in terms of just like the... How the fuck long did you spend drawing this? It, it kind of has the same effect. Head first, there you go. Someone said to climb the wall earlier. Can you come up this way? Can you just climb this? Probably can, right? What's that way? That's probably for the fucking climbing the wall, isn't it? Oh, I can eat those. Hang on a sec. I have to eat to escape the Dharma, Jesse. Here. Gotcha. the food. Alright, I can I can save. Oh. The needlessly convoluted path. Hey, the rain cycle's bad. Okay. That's the end of the stream. I'm not doing any more. Very exciting, though. I can go and talk to Blue Bow next time. Is, is it any coincidence that the highest level of karma symbol now is the same as the blueberries? It's the blueberry X? Maybe those blueberries were just really enlightened. Stream art time. Oh yeah, I bet there's lots of stream art. Let's go. Let's have a look at that. With the, the sort of moist ambiance in the background to fill the dead air. <sighs> Fuck, I'm tired. Okay. Let's see what we got. Okay, I showed off the JD Cash robot at the start. How do you become a body without organs? I showed it out in uh, Simi's video. Let's see. Oh, I see a slug cat. Uh, I think it starts here. Okay. Blop, blop. All right. Good start. That one is from... We got Skeletal Bozo here. With uh, a Yeekin slug cat. Tell me the lore. What the hell is going on here? I've forgotten how Alex speaks, actually. It was, what the hell is going on here? What the hell is going on here? Th that's it, that's it. What the hell is going on here? That's the Alex voice. Tell me the lore. And that's just the big funny lizard. Those are good, good slug cats. I like them. Blue Bow is the sole survivor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love Blue Bow. I mean, it, that name is not any more canon than Iggy, as far as I know. Uh. Wait, that's just a repost of Outsin's Deltarune Dreams video in the Arts and Crafts channel. Strange. Um. Okay, looking for screen art, stream art, stream art. Uh. Oh, there's a skug. Got it.
Mel mentioned an Andrew Cunningham branded long cat. Oh, is, is that that's the fuck? It's it's Bluebo holding out the slug cat in the long cat pose with the cinder block. Using specifically the color scheme from Mel's drawing from last stream. It's very high concept, but very cute. I love the. <laughs> The, the arms are just like the, the one character that existed probably when you drew this. The, the only canonical character that has arms that you could use. That works. Uh, and that one is my Eterna, who is I think a new new person? New to the server. I, I don't recognize them anyway, but that, that's a cool piece of art. Ooh. Oh shit, someone made a, a poncho human slug cat. Poncho slug cat, specifically based on the one from the uh, the Undertale intro cutscene. <laughs> That's very specific, but cool. Uh, that one is Igneous Rocco, who I also don't recognize as having done previous uh, stream art. That's cool, we got the Rain World artists coming out of the woodwork here. Another one, this is Smash Mania. Various slug cat things. Eating that moss. I'm not sure what the one on the bottom left is, unless it's just like... Kelp? Maybe that's the kelp? <laughs> it's, it's the shape the kelp takes after it latches on and completely envelops a slug cat. That's good. Uh, oh, this is Walter. It's I didn't. It's not their usual style. It's a it's a, a painting study apparently of, of the slug cat, which I'm assuming was made mostly off stream because that's like a very polished piece. Extremely well done, uh, as I sort of expect from Walter at this point. But that's really nice. Mimics the kind of lighting of the game, I'd say, with the the kind of weird background colors and stuff. There's more though. There's more. Uh, we have one from Neb Thing here. Just the pain in the ass white lizard, of course. <laughs> Those fucking things. They're such a, such assholes. I don't think that's a... Uh, what the fuck is that? Okay, Rovert Clovert made this shit. Which, it's just the the Yeek title screen. <laughs> With, we got the Gaster box, we got... That might just be normally in the Yeek title screen, the, the blue crown in the background. There's the sandwich. Uh, I ate that. Yep, a slug cat yeeking out the kelp zone. You gotta watch out for the kelp zone. It's, it's very much an abstract vignette. That's true. It's copyrighted to Toby Fox from Yumi Nikki. Ah, okay. I don't know who made this game, really. It could have been Toby Nikki. We have some outs and sketches for today. Looking good. Of course, we have the cat being devoured by kelp, the cat being devoured by spiders. Um, and <laughs> trying to apologize to Blue Bow with the red, not the red, it's yellow. The yellow marble, there we go. <laughs> That's quite funny. Love the, the interpretation of the facial expression on Blue Bow there. Quite good. Get your girlfriends mad. <laughs> Is that what the shipping emotes in the Rain World Discord are for? Slugcat x Bluebo, the only other living character who doesn't kill you. That's grounds for a relationship in my eyes. 
I skipped the yeek? No way I skipped the yeek. Th there's Umris art. I'm pretty sure I didn't skip any yeek art. You meant Umris. You want me to show the Umris art? Fine, I'll do the- I'll show the Umris art. Oh no, it is the Rain World! Okay, so the Rain World art was like hidden deep within the Umris art, and I didn't notice it. You'll believe in Karma further. <laughs> he remembers the time he couldn't get through the Karma Gate and Industrial Complex, yeah. No, I don't believe in faith out of Debbie Tales. That's what he was talking about. Speaking of blue bow, the real blue bow right here, and yellow bow up, up above. What is that background image, by the way? What the fuck is that? By the way, that one's from Lilac Weather. Gotta give credit. Birdly couldn't get through the, the karma sauna one day, but Chris did, and, and he's been mad about that ever since. That's the only way to get out of hometown, actually. It's just to the to the left of that police tape. There's the karma gate. But no one inside has had enough karma to exit for years, and so they just closed it off. Am I gonna play more? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep streaming this. Because I want to go talk to Blue Bow now. Um, but it's I, I'm too tired to keep going today. There may have been more still underneath that. There is, there is. That, okay, that's under swamp. That's not for the stream. This one's by Cobalt E27, Andrew Skungingham. <laughs> that's uh, it's just a, a, the the slug cat with a mustache. But it's funny that it's it's very hard to render a mustache on a slug cat in a way that doesn't just look like its mouth, because their faces are so sort of ambiguous and monochromatic. I can tell what it's supposed to be though. That's a good one. They look quite fun to draw. They're so like, they got they're so bottom heavy. So much like just weird. Buy meat, you know? <laughs> Everything is just kind of blobby and round. Oh my god. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what is this? It's a piece of art from Neb. I think it's from the stream. I'm just trying to like struggling to take it take in what the fuck is happening here. Andrew Cunningham has cracked the Baba is you to slug cat to Ori tutorial evolution. I've seen this meme before, but in like a different format. What the fuck is that Tesla face by the way? Why is it so constructed? Why is the hand so well drawn? Just so, well, why is this so well rendered? It's <laughs> For the meme, and it's drawn in pencil, too. Deranged. Why do I have Homestuck Corns? Uh, yeah, you know, it's a reference to my, uh, you know, Troll Sona. It's fine. This got pinned? It should be. Oh, wait, there's another super crazy piece of art down there. That's not, it's not like a slug cat thing, but like a... Hang on. Okay, so this thing's crazy, right? Toby, you sly dog! You thought we would never notice that Ralsei is a slug cat, but we did! I oh, it's Ralsei. I thought it was Toriel, but Ralsei is the slug cat. <laughs> That's wonderful. But, okay, this this is fucking nuts down here. Check this out. This is by, uh, Nikaizo. This is like the, uh, the, the external, the alternate camera angle on the, the DMTA 666. That's amazing. That's actually hype as fuck. With the, the intervals lovingly rendered in the Nico plushie and the, uh... The, the weird... A, a three-dimensional interpretation of the weird, like, magnetic coil I stuck onto the, uh, the can... That, that was literally a Lego sculpture of the Canadarm, by the way. The thing on the space station. Th th that's what that is, uh, holding up the, um... The key module. <laughs> Because why not? That's quite sick. 
uh, and the, the biggest gaster turtleneck of all time too. He's looking like a fucking motorcycle maintenance dude, like like a sexy motorcycle mechanic. A very high quality gaster there. Toby likes his pants. Yeah, he's wearing those like uh, they're kind of like khakis. They're kind of like yeek pants actually. Sexy? When did I say that? I probably just did say that. Oh well, it's fine. Who does he remind me of? He reminds me of someone. The face. It's it's on the tip of my tongue. Who is that? Oh! Oh! Fuck! That's so specific that no one's gonna get this. He looks like fucking uh, Manamarco from the one uh, all in all animation. Does anyone. Is JD in chat? Like, JD would know what I mean. He's got the Mana Marco face from one specific animation from All in All. There we go, that's that's what it reminded me of. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bemused. Uh is that the end? No, there's another one even. It's five pebbles queening out. Oh, literally, literally queening, like da 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 da. That's, that's sort of the vibe that cutscene had. It's like this fucking dirty animal has stumbled into my literal cerebral cortex, to the this sort of mechanical deity constructed by the elder civilization, and it's like, hey yo, you have any food in here? And then he enlightens your ass. Uh, very unique interaction. I wish the text was slower though. Uh, that one's by Neb. Neb also drew this thing incredibly. Yeah, there's a mod for that. Uh, yeah, I bet there is. Okay. That's it. Okay, that's all the art. Shit, that was a lot, a lot. Uh, a lot of, um, art. A lot of stream. This was just a really fucking long stream for some reason. I just got kind of into it at the end. Pebbles is a cool character, but only if you read the lore. Can you direct me to where the lore is? I, I'd like to find that. That's sort of my, my goal in the game really is, is just to find where all the supposed lore is actually hiding. Uh, it seemed like Pebbles give you some good lore, um, kind of off the bat, but maybe you only unlock the lore once you, uh, you learn how to read? Oh, you gotta take the pearls to Blue Bow. Oh, okay, I was gonna do that anyway next time, so. Um, I, I would have discovered that, I guess, naturally. There you go, the game has a deep and engaging narrative, but it's all locked behind bringing colored rocks to a robot sitting in a room in a cave past the leech pit. Uh, otherwise, there's no story. Interesting, very cool. Okay, uh, that's enough of that. It's time to end the stream now. Yeah, yeah, that's it. See you next time. Fun stream. Thanks for coming. Night, everyone.